Chess. Lee 
the second game of round four of the World Chess Cup 2021. I'm coming, <laughs> I feel like a true commentator. Uh, I'm coming from you live from Sochi, Russia, and today we're gonna be looking at 16 games from Open World Cup and 8 games only from Women's World Cup as the tournament is slowly but surely coming to an end. Hello, everybody in the chat. Uh, I see you all. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. Thank you. You know, today is my last stream live from Sochi because tomorrow in the morning I'm already flying to the next tournament. So now, um, so yeah, today we're going to have a lot of fun. Um, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, so yes, um, Today we're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna try to check as many games. We're gonna try to have as many interviews because, yes, I will not be coming back to Sochi, sadly. So we're gonna try to take, take advantage of that. Good to see you guys as well. Hope you're having a good day um, and good morning or good evening, wherever you are. Um, so yes, let's just like jump into the games hello hello as well to youtube chat i see you as well so there was a question in the chat why didn't black take when e4 okay so let's check so i mean let's start with the open world cup as there are a lot of entertaining games to be expected to happen today uh, so there were some losses tomorrow, tomorrow, there were some losses yesterday, so today actually some players do have to strike back in order to go to tie breaks, otherwise they're going to be knocked out from the tournament. However, Magnus Carlsen against Vitaja Kradislav did finish peacefully in a draw yesterday, even though the game was extremely, extremely entertaining to watch. So today Magnus goes for e4 and Vitasek immediately going for the Sicilian defense. So, going for the bishop b5, knight d7, d4, takes, takes. I will also put the evaluation bar, but a bit later. Now, this is still an opening phase, so this is basically all theory and all preparation from both players. So the question was, why did black not take on e4? Um, well, taking on e4 is extremely risky in these positions just because just rook e1 is looking directly at the king. For example, now if you move the knight back, immediately knight e5 is a threat of checkmate on d6. For, for example, if black plays g6, just giving you an example, knight d6 is already checkmate on the board. So, for example, after e6, white will still take the pawn and then black is forced to take back and back. You know, white is just doing so great after rook one even though he sacrificed the pawn, he has so much activity um, already attacking the king that taking the pawn is just not great. Yes, Moscow, Sicilia. So a6 played by Wojtaszek. Um Bishop a4 played and e6. I think Wojtaszek was not prepared for this opening as here for a6 he was thinking for around 7 minutes which means that he either is trying to remember something or is trying to get Magnus out of preparation. Um, so let's see, bishop f4 and e6 and now Magnus thinking as well. Reporting live from Sochi. <laughs> um, yes, last stream, Sag. I'm going to Biel. Lara does like the checkmate. Yeah, so this is why this pawn is not being taken. And even after e6, I think that white does not worry about losing this pawn just because then, you know, rook e1 is just an extremely nice file to have. Uh, you had not seen my game yet, but I, for example, also sacrificed my e pawn against um, an African champion. Uh, who I played in the World Cup, I sacrificed the e pawn, but the sacrifice of e pawn meant that I can have an open e file where the king is feeling very uncomfortable. So, but I do think that rook e1 or something like knight c3 might happen in this position. However, we'll see. Um, Magnus is still thinking. Okay, let's check the next game. 
Uh, Shankland. Oh, so yeah, yesterday when I left the stream, um, when I finished the stream, there were quite some turnarounds. For example, Esipenko didn't manage to beat Dubo as he made few small mistakes that cost him the win. However, the game ended in a draw. On the other hand, um, Jum Jumabayo, who was winning yesterday with White and then had a drawn end game, less sadly, well, sadly, um, unfortunately lost in the time trouble against Shankland. So today, Rinat has to win in order just to go to tie breaks. And for that reason, after e4, he goes knight c6, which is <laughs> extremely, 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 extremely non-popular move. Um, and after d4, d5, knight c3, takes d5, knight d5. I think they're just like, the idea of going knight c6 is that Rina doesn't want to play a theoretical game. He wants to play a game of chess from move one and prove that without theory, he can be better um, than Shankland. So that's why he goes for this, but that's very, very weird opening to choose. And now he's thinking as, you know, I think, you know, why doesn't have any problems here. Um, I don't know what black will do. Will he go h5? If he would, I wouldn't be surprised, but then you have to be worried about knight d5, packing c7. I don't know. I already <laughs> very much dislike this position. For example, you know, another problem is if you just go knight f6, again, knight d5, attacking the c7 pawn, and you think, oh no, it's fine, I just take the pawn and protect this one at the same time. It doesn't work like that because queen just takes the knight, queen takes it back to knight c7. King moves and now the queen is taken back. So white just won a pawn. Actually a piece, one, white just won a piece, not a pawn, even more. So for example, this is very uncomfortable for black already, especially with knight b5 threat. And imagine if black actually has to, has to play a six in this position, you will start to question, <laughs> you know, yourself, you know, why did I go for this? That was not very smart of me, but maybe I think something like bishop g4, oh sorry, not bishop g4 cannot play, be played, bishop f5 maybe can be played, but again, knight b5, and the problem is after rook c8, just knight a7, so it's just very, very unfortunate. Yeah, he didn't prepare a drawing line for sure. And we'll delete bond lot, we'll, <laughs> we'll check that. Yeah, good guy, Renat lost this. Uh, nothing to do with chess. You studied chemical engineering? No, uh, no, no, I'm not, study I'm not studying chemical engineering. I'm studying biochemistry. Uh, he's pre in preparation for engineering school in France and he wants to do chemistry as well. Do you know good units in Slovenia? I guess he wants to do some kind of double degree there. Well, that's a very good question. <laughs> this is Leech stream, but that's a very good question. Um, so in Slovenia, we actually only have three universities that are actually like big, like bigger universities than than anything else. So Maribor um, in Ljubljana and Kopar. I study in Ljubljana. However, the Maribor University is also very good. Um, me just I prefer Ljubljana because to me it's better city, a bit more beautiful city as well. But that's just personal preference. But yeah, no, for sure we have um, chemical engineering in Ljubljana. Um, it's in a very nice location. Dubo only challenge for Magnus in his side of the bracket. Um, chess is so hard, chess is hard, go at five. <laughs> hello, hello. Um, thank you, no, thank you for being here, guys. I really appreciate it. I love, I, I learn a lot from this coverage, especially this is extremely good preparation for me as well. Um, because I'm actually leaving for a chess tournament tomorrow, so this is great preparation for me, so I, this is a good opportunity for me to improve my chess, especially watching these strong grandmasters, and I'm just glad that you guys um, are here to, to stay with me. I really do love that. So let's check Kovalo for the sale. Um, uh, what was in the end? For the sale did win, yeah. For the sale beat Cavallo. So today, just for the sale with Black Pieces, need to draw in order to qualify for the next round. Um, okay, we see the Sicilian. Um, with Queen D2. When B3, this is very um, 
Well, this is apparently close Sicilian, but this is very... Bitter is not a move. You usually play with white pieces, but again, Covallo has to win. Uh, and that means he has to play something that is not a known opening theory. And B3 seems to be like a great surprise. And Fedosea, of course, already thinking, and he played bishop at six, you know, attacking the queen. F4 by Covallo immediately. Very aggressive. Um, Covallo is a very aggressive player, so we will see a very dynamic game today. Knight F6, bishop E2, and E5 still pinning here. And G3, I think white. So I think white is making too much weak squares, to be honest. Yes, like it's a very attacking game, but I think that at the end of the day, I, there will be a lot of weak squares, however, white wants to go long castle. So in that defense, king will be safe, um, but we'll see about the squares. So castle and takes on f4. Okay, so now obvious. Oh, actually, white doesn't even have to take back. That's very, very cool. White can just, for example, go knight f3. Or maybe even knight two, or maybe just bishop c, bishop c four because actually, okay maybe, uh, okay let's just check this. Maybe this doesn't work for y because f g three queen h six g two. Maybe this doesn't work for y, even though I have to say that this is an extremely dangerous position for black as knight g five is coming and knight e five threatening to check mate on h seven. So, of course, Kovalo now thinking, he's thinking, do I take immediately or do I do something else? Of course, bishop g2 is not possible uh, exactly due to f3 because now he also loses an extra piece. Um, so, yeah, this is still on the board and very interesting position. This game is going to be very, very dynamic as well. Kovalo has to win. Yeah, black has a few weaknesses as well, that's obviously true. That's what Kovalo is playing for. He wants to play for this um, black diagonal bishop. So yeah, definitely good, good, good way. I like b3 bishop, um, b2 and long castle. I feel like that's a very nice plan to play for a win. But um, let's check the evaluation. I just don't think yeah, it's um, the best way to go for, but I think it's the trickiest, one of the trickiest ways. So yeah, even h4 is one of the greatest moves here in the position for Cavallo, which I have a feeling he might play something like that for sure. Um, let's check the next game, Durabaili against Abdusatoro. I think yeah, Abdusatoro lost yesterday, which means that today Abdusatoro with black pieces has to play for a win. And let's see what he chose to play for. Okay, this is Philidor. This is turning into a Philidor apparently. Uh, queen d2, knight c6, long castle, take six, bishop e6. So we have um, double edged positions. For example, king is here on the king side, white king is on the queen side. So that means, yeah, there is some double edge. Um, position, but I think that white is just doing so great because he's gonna develop all his pieces so they're on great squares and black for example bishop 27 is just you know terrible bishop so black's idea would be to move the knight go bishop I'm um, sorry move the knight go bishop f6 and then move the knight somewhere and then try to play a game but I think so far white is just doing great and you know, the Satoru trying to play for a win but Hmm. Not so great. Uh, fancy blazer, is it FIDA approved? So the thing is that I didn't wear these blazer screws to, to the actual game because I was afraid that they would tell me not to wear it ever again. So I'm glad I have to, I, I can get to wear it here. But that's it's a very nice blazer, yeah. <laughs> is there a chance I get the GM norm? So the thing is, John21, you cannot just go for a grandmaster title after you become international master immediately because for me, I just got to a level of international master and to become a grandmaster, you need to jump to the next level, which is a very high level. So for me, I'm not on that level yet. I'm still not on the level of grandmaster. So going for a GM norm when you're not on the level of a grandmaster, I don't think I should even think about it. I mean, po possible norms, they're possible norms, of course, but um, 
I have so much more stuff to learn and to experience before I actually go for a higher title. It, it usually takes, um, it, it will take like more than five years if I will ever get the title for sure. Especially because um, I'm not only playing chess professionally, but also doing other stuff. Um, yes, um, the Switched Broadcast Attorney will play? No, no, um, I don't think so, they will. Oh, Rekumuda, there, there are definitely some openings, but there are so many that, you know, I will just decide. Um, but Bill might have a broadcast, yes, but not just broadcast. <laughs> that game escalated quickly, yeah. Or King B1, take the king away from the long diagonal. Yes, that's also um, a good idea for sure. King B1 seems very logical. Um, look, I mean, thank you. Is Aminta but Way's game really theory? We'll check that for sure, we'll check that. <laughs> Why am I dressed so nicely? Because today is my last stream, Turkey. Today is my last stream. Uh, I will never stream again. <laughs> today is my last stream from Russia. I'm leaving, so um, I'm just trying to, uh, <laughs> you know, make a nice impression for the last day I'm having here. So this, yeah, we're moving to the next game, Grish Chukorobo. Honestly, Grish Chukorobo, I think, is a game um, we should watch. Oh, no, no. Mm. I think they're going to be live games. Yeah, I think they're going to be live games. So let's check. E4, E5. Knight f 2 knight 6 bishop c4. He goes for the Italian, Mr. Grish I think he's great in... Gishchuk really knows the type of positions with white and black pieces. So bishop c5, c3, knight f6, and d3. These are some theoretical tricks. For example, if you castle first, then you have many other ideas as d4, but d3 all um, directly protecting e4. So there are a lot of tricks here. Castles, d6, and rook e1. Bishop e7. So here I think I played knight g4 once with... Um, black pieces or in a similar position but this for example is a bad move because rook 2 is just protecting everything in this in this type of position and just h2 happens and then um black uh, sorry white is, is just happy bishop e7 this is a prophylactic move because otherwise then white would maybe go before a4 attacking the bishop with a tempo so bishop e7 very prophylactic move a4 also prophylactic because black will probably go b5 but now they can't. A6 on the board and Grishchuk already thinking for 17 minutes. Um, I think there are many ways to play here. I know there's not bishop b3. Uh, you can go for example knight d2. Um, maybe even knight a3, knight c2 is an option. Knight d2, knight f1, knight g3, one option. Bishop b3 usually would not really play, I think. Um, maybe he's just deciding which plan he wants to take. So, so far very calm position and I think they both want to go to tie breaks and they want to finish this game peacefully. However, next game, Verkic, Martyr, Siam. Let's check what's going on here. We have, um, well, the Berlin. We have the Berlin. Uh, and how uh, Verkic with white pieces has to win. Okay. Berkic is white and he has to win in order to go to tie breaks, otherwise he's out of the tournament. So d5 takes, 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 bishop c4, knight two, and this is on the board right now. Yeah, I mean, I think black is very comfortable in this position. I don't think white has any huge winning chances in this type of position. So yeah, I just don't think there's gonna be anything special here and this i mean it's too early to judge the game will probably go on for moves and moves and moves but so far um white is i mean black equalized very easily and i don't think black has any problems mvl against pregnananda this is something we should follow for sure um you will miss me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and my rest day was, was very, very nice. Um, 
and uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm very excited to play my next tournament. It, it's pretty nice. Anti Berlin, yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you for correcting me. It's anti Berlin, yes. Um, hello, hello, Davo. Hello, Arpel. Um, and okay, I think you came at the right time because we're just checking again and we are against Pregnananda. So, you know, how can I say? Already a very experienced top five player against a very young talent, Indian youngster. Um, let's check what they got, went for. So they went for Sicilian. I think Anvil will go for a win if he will try. And let's check how long they prepared the opening. E5, this is still all an opening. This is called Sicilian Four Knights variation. So the thing is, I'm not very experienced in Sicilian names. So thank God for Leech's opening book that tells me which line it is. Um, 94, Queen C7, F4. Yeah, very, very interesting approach by MVL, but also, yeah, from Pregnananda. Queen B6, C4. <laughs> He's just pushing them all, like pushing them, baby. Yeah, King E2. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We saw this from Esipenko. Esipenko put his king on F3 and then on G3, where it was extremely safe. So I think we already see saw a similar opening. <laughs> so yes, this is the late bone cloud by MVL. The late bone cloud by MVL. Very, very impressive. Yeah, they drew yesterday, exactly. They drew, so nothing is decided. Yes, who will replace me? I wish there was someone to replace me. But I don't think there's going to be anyone that will replace me. Um, so I think that each other just will not have any strings. <laughs> this is a Kaviano Java 2007 game. Wow. <laughs> oh, second dose. That's, that's very nice. I hope you're feeling well yeah, after that. And yeah. How natural movies King it to? It's very natural. You know why? Because after Bishop D2, I think Black has moved Queen E3. Uh, and then you have to go something like this. And then, uh, actually, I'm not sure what this even is. And not only Black has that, I think Black can only just take Knight F4 and just win a pawn. Um, let's just check what computer says after this. Yeah, just Queen E3, okay, Queen D2 and whatnot. Ah, takes, takes takes, takes, and now take. Okay, I mean, that's, you no, know, it's, it's just a huge pawn. So basically, king d2, the only move for white. Imagine, king d2, the only move for white. But this is still theory, if I remember correctly, and also they're prepared. Very interesting though, f5 by pregnant and he prepared this. Mr. Prag takes, takes, and bishop e3 on the board. Attacking the queen, Queen d8, knight d6, bishop d6, queen d6, bishop d7, king d1. King wants to go to, to c2 and probably be safe there. Um, c5, oh, and then we all just takes it. I think this is still prep. This is still prep. Bishop e4, bishop e2, d6. Cal oh, and this is where they went out of prep. So d6 was out of prep move for both of them. Pragnananda didn't know it, and MVL didn't know it as he spent a few minutes going queen d4. And after castle, now MVL has been thinking for a while. So yeah, the thing is, let's let's just evaluate position without the computer first. White has two bishops, so bishop pair in open position. That means that's great. Uh, while black has knight and a bishop in an open position, of course, bishop pair works better than bishop and a knight. Uh, second thing, pawns. How many pawns does white have? Six. Black has five pawns. So white is a pawn up. Um, but in exchange, black has secure king, while white king will never be able to castle and will have to stay in the center or maneuver itself very, very slowly. I don't exactly know where, but I think king is staying in the center here. I think king will be on e1 or d2 at some point, or maybe just on d1, <laughs> maybe just on d1. Um, and yes, so that means that these two rooks will not be very flexible, um, you know, which is the price you pay. This is so Maxim, this is typical Maximism here, isn't it? 
Um, if you just wanted to fly me to Sochi, you could take over the broadcast. Would you, girls? Would you? Um, isn't it possible to continue the coverage on Slovenia? I'm not going to Slovenia. I'm not going to Slovenia. I'm playing chess. Um, <laughs> crazy kids these days with King It Is. And we drew yesterday. And why did Bernardo sacrifice a pawn? This is just an opening theory. I think this is very known opening theory. Um, so why did he sacrifice a pawn? That's also, uh, I can answer to you without the theoretical questions. Why? Bishop is on B7. And after King D1, imagine white goes, I don't know if King D1 was necessary, this is theory, but imagine white just goes C5. Maybe not now, but like King D1, let's say um, black plays, what is black play? A5? I think you can go at 5 I mean, the thing is that, I mean, I think white can go C5. Um, maybe it's not the best move, but just for example, this bishop is stuck behind here. Well, imagine if you sacrifice the C5 pawn for the activity of the bishop, in the sense that this bishop is now in 4, stopping any, like, king movements that could bring the king to a1 because the king obviously wants to go c2 rook d1 for example um, if this didn't happen let's say even if after a5 let's say king c2 and now for example um let's say i don't know let's say king f7 rook d1 c5 king b1 king a1 I think this is actually what white wants to achieve because that means that white can just connect the rooks, go g4, even sacrifice this one and then have some attack here. So I mean sacrificing a pawn here is some theoretical um, line, which is pretty, pretty good because now bishop is on e4 and stopping king safety for white. Um, so king c1 on the board by MVL. I think king will want to go to b2 now, which yeah, it's a slow process, but it it will go there. Slovenian delegation entering the Olympic Stadium now. Wow. I... Why is King C1 better than King C2 in making space for the rook? Um, so King C2 is not possible. King C2 is not possible because bishop is only four. Um, of course, you want to make space for the rook, so then the king can come to a1. You don't want your king to come to b1 and rook stuck on a1. You don't want that. You want first to connect the rooks, move it, and then slowly go to the corner, because you want your rooks to be connected. But king c2 is not, sorry. King c2 um, is not possible due to this bishop. That's why this bishop here is so strong. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Is it okay if I message you questions while you're doing this broadcast? <laughs> Screw so professional. Isn't G2 hanging? Also a very good question. You know, I love these questions. Um, is G2 hanging? It is. But imagine black takes it. Rook G1 will for sure be happening. And imagine bishop goes back. What did black now do? He opened a huge potential attack for white. Um, this rook on g1 can be very, very dangerous. For example, now king can actually go back to d2, then go rook g3, rook g1, and then maybe sacrifice something on g7, or if g6 happens, then some h4, h5. You know, it's just making unnecessary counterplay for white. Black is just making unnecessary counterplay for white. Um, because black already has a good position and with taking this pawn you just open a potential attack uh, that might happen. Um, so I think, I mean maybe king d2, not sure in this case if it's the best because I just see queen a5, so the king has to kind of move back. But let's see what actually white would play in this position. I'm really curious. What would happen in this position. So the other thing I'm considering actually is also going on bishop c2, bishop c3, looking g7 from this diagonal. But I think, no, I think b3 here in this case is better, just because maybe king b2 and then you try to double the rooks here. 
uh, here and there. Maybe this is the way, but again, making a necessary counterplay for white. Yes, it's a pawn, but I think that black is just very happy um, in this position and doesn't really need to take it. I think black can go something for a5, and after, for example, a5, b3, a, a4, already making it uncomfortable for king b2 because a3 on the board, right? So I just think, yeah, unnecessary counterplay. <laughs> Do MVL six pack. Okay, MVL six pack. Here we go. Here we go. MVL six pack. Uh, <laughs> chess is less than yes. Hello, hello. Who let the rook out? Yes, very good, very good, very good. For black, d5, white, d5, and queen, defend, d5. Um, push h4 immediately. Yeah, also h4 immediately push would be nice. Uh, what I would prefer maybe to do is yeah, double the rooks, but h4 push is also nice uh, if he takes the g2 for sure. Um, but if he doesn't, then for example, h4 push is also unnecessary because with h5, h6 you cannot achieve something. While if the g file is open, then of course white can achieve much more, um, potentially. Um, so yeah, this is now on the board. Let's check the evaluation bar. I really wonder what's the best move for black. Best move for black is actually queen a7, sorry, not queen d7, queen e7. Um, and then something like rook d1 and 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 b3 might happen. Um, yeah, rook d1 is very logical. Sorry, just playing wrong moves here. Rook d1 is very logical, protecting, uh, sorry, attacking d6. And for example, after rook e8, now b3 or even b4. And, um, yeah, now white is just doing great. A5, um, but yes, yeah, white does have some G4 ideas now that I look at it. So black might potentially take G2 at some point, at some point, for example, but King B2 here is bad just because of A4, and again, making it uncomfortable for white. But then Rook C1 and um, A3 is now bad because just King A1 is very safe. That's what white wants to achieve. Um, so yeah, this game can, can like, Every move here is very important. Um, with white and with black, you have to respond to your opponent very carefully. So let's check the next game. Check video game. Yes, we're, we're just going from up to down. So we have Sinjaro, Pirun, just checking the position. Uh, I think Pirun, yeah, Pirun, Casper beat Sinjaro yesterday. So now Sinjaro with black pieces has to win. So. Let's see what opening they just played. Okay. I mean, black went for this because it was aggressive. Um, and white knew, yeah, some tricks here. So, knight c2, bishop a8, knight a8, knight c3 taking a knight one. The idea is not letting the knights out because letting the knights out here is terrible. And after bishop c5, I think we expect to see something along the lines of bishop e3, bishop f4, bishop g5. Uh, I think bishop f4, but I think all is good. So yeah, this is just, yeah, not so great for black. Uh, so let's check the next position. Concrato uh, against black hole. Um, why queen e7 would protect uh, e6? Oh, why queen e7? Yeah, queen e, no, queen e7 is good. Uh, let's just quickly go back. Queen e7. Oh, sorry, let me just find the game. I just lost it. Uh, queen e7 here is good because uh, you're preparing for rook d1, attacking the pawn. So then you're prepared for rook e8. Also, yeah. Um, you're you're removing yourself from this diagonal. You're not protecting e6, but you're potentially preparing for rook to go to d8 and maybe pushing the d5. I think that's the main idea of going queen e7. So yeah, so let's check Moncrato Bacro. The Sicilian by Bacro. Did he go for Nidorf? Let's check. And knight c6. No, he didn't. Six, queen d2, 
This is Richter Rauser variation. A6, castle, so keep in mind, but Pearl only needs a draw to go through the next round. Well, um, Pokrato has to win, so this game is going to be very entertaining because Pokrato is a very aggressive player. You can see he already cast along, he's prepared for the attack here in the center, so this is going to be very interesting. So this, 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 oh, we already see the dynamics, look at this, this is still preparation. e5 before ef takes, takes, this is still preparation. Takes bishop h4, rook g8, king b1. And I think rook b8 was already maybe remembering or a bit out of prep. Um, and bishop f3, and now they're already out of prep, okay? f5 and knight d4 played by Pokrato. I think I do like black's position just because he has very nice chances for potential attacks here. The king will stay in the center, hopefully safe behind these pawns and these bishops, but you never know, some knight e6 <laughs> or some kind of sacrifices might happen, but so far I think that black has to ask either to take or not to take here. And what to do after, of course. I know you're a big MBL fan, but as a young person yourself, don't you feel like it would be fantastic for Pregnananta to progress? No, 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 Pregnananta is a great talent and great player. Uh, I'm not cheering for, for anyone, <laughs> um, but I think that Pregnananta is, is a very great player. I just think that he's still too young. Yes, he's a grandmaster, but that doesn't mean he's playing at the top level, does it? I just think he has still a lot of lear to learn and gain a lot of experience um, before he can actually win this type of tournament, but for sure in the future he's going to be <laughs> one of the favorites. But so far he's still not at the top, but he's extremely, extremely talented and I'm sure he will be at the top very soon. A Kazakhstan player friend is playing, uh, Rina Tumin? <laughs> very nice pronunciation of French names. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> um, when is the final of your tourney? The final? What do you mean the final? Oh, it's actually pronounced Cruz February. That's so nice, that's so nice. Okay, so let's, let's see the um, next game. Uh, so this is now on the board, let's check the next one. Artemio Karakin, uh, extremely, extremely entertaining match to watch. And finally, we have D4 on the first move. Yes, thank God. <laughs> I was sick of E4 already. <laughs> so D4, Knight of 64, E6. We have the, the, the Nimsu Indian defense uh, with E3, castle, and we should be 2 uh, d5, knight f3, b6, rook c1, bishop f6, queen f6. Wait, they're already out of the opening. Wait, so I think Kryakin was not prepared for e3, bishop d2. The bishop d2 is very sidelineish, but um, it doesn't matter really. So d5, knight f3, da 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 da, this is very logical. Takes, 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 and the g3. Hmm. Yeah. So the thing is that, yeah, white will just constantly develop and play on the C file because, I mean, this is where white should play. They will go, he will go 95. The only problem is this bishop on D2 is not, um, it's not where it should be. This bishop that's on D2 should be put on F4. That's where it should be, but it's not. So I think that black is just doing perfectly fine in this position. Karak is the best. Okay, so for that, uh, let's check uh, Karikrishna Tabatabe. You guys asked me if this is still theory, so we will check that. Abdo Satoro, or who do you mean? Oh, the last day final. So for me, I don't know what, exactly, Woody, what are you asking for? Of my tournament in in Switzerland, there's no finals. There's just ten. There are just ten rounds, and that's it. You play all the rounds, no matter the result. So 
for that I don't have a final, but tournament finishes 4th of August, for example, if that's what you mean. <sighs> yes, I turned into serious chess commentator with a pearl earring. Thank you. Thank you. You prefer Laura with the three glasses. Uh, no, 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 it's okay, guys. Uh, I would love to be more enthusiastic. Um, it's just that yesterday, um, well, today I actually slept only four hours because I had to make a PCR test and I couldn't sleep in the night. And um, so I cannot really be so enthusiastic as I wish I would be. Uh, even though I had two coffees already, yeah, I had two coffees already. But I wish I will try my best. Trust me, I will trust my best. I try my best. I I have another coffee here, just in case I'm I lose my enthusiasm. But yes, I cannot really speak. I think because I talk so much, I'm kind of my voice is getting used too much. So I cannot really like be like talk too much. I think that's what's going on here. But it's okay. I'm I'm doing my best to commentate. I'm here to commentate anyway, and I hope you guys enjoy my serious commentating for a bit. Um, e4, e5, knight, e3, knight, e6, bishop, e5, e6. We have the Spanish here, the Rue Lopez castle, and bishop, c5, um, c3, b, b5. Oh, I play this myself. Actually, I play it a bit differently. I go b5 first, so after this I go bishop, c5. But going bishop c5 first, it's a bit different because you allow after c3, b5, bishop c2. Well, if you go um, if you go b5 first, um, bishop has to stay on b3, and after bishop c5, c3, you go d6, and then bishop is here, not on c2. Um, so this is a bit different, so let's check what's going on here. b5, bishop c2, d5. Okay, d4, takes, 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 takes. This looks like theory, yeah, this looks like theory. This does look like theory, and Tabata Bay prepared like a beast. Tabata Bay is so well prepared. It's insane. Um, except that, yes, after Queen E2, he, he... Oh, forgot. This is where his opening book ends, and now he has to think with his own brain. Um, Let's see what he can consider here. So now he's been thinking for like 25 minutes, right? Maybe even 30. So first move you consider is of course h6. Then because it takes, takes, bishop here, takes, takes, castle. Seems very comfortable for black. So uh, even though there's a pawn, you're a pawn down anyway. So maybe this is not the best thing. Let's see what else black can consider. I'm thinking if he can consider castling first, but what happens after bishop e4? Uh, just bishop e4, and after queen e4, this, this, I think black, yeah, black is just doing perfectly fine, because now he's taking this one, and yeah, I think this is great. And so I think castle is some move to consider here. What else can we consider? I, I already show, had shown Rina Chanklin, but I will, of course, show back, but first we go from top to bottom. Um, Maria to bring in more of this. Is, is it a really disappointment for the fact that you didn't get to meet Harry Potter like you were expecting? Yeah, very disappointed I couldn't meet Harry Potter. Um, we need to hype Laura. No, 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 it's okay. I'm hyped. I know I don't show it, but I'm hyped. Um, <laughs> you wow, we're cool with that wow. Is it going to be Dubu Carlson? We'll see how Sipenko will handle today's game. Because, uh, you know what, let's go to that game and I will talk about it later, but let's go from top to bottom. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I'm going in order, sorry, yeah. Um, but yeah, this is now on the board and yeah, this is a very interesting position to play, but I think this is still theory. Let's, let's just check if there's an opening book. No, there's no opening book. So rookie one was played, and I think that Tabata Bay was prepared for rookie one. And I, let's see what uh, was played after rookie one. Oh. Rookie one, h6, bishop f6, queen f6, d takes, takes, and castles. And queen e2 now, and this. Okay, so I think Tabata Bay was prepared for something like this, and um, we'll see what, what he will decide to play. I think h6 is very logical. I think also castle is very logical, so... We'll see. 
he didn't against Duda. Uh, it was a draw yesterday, so let's see what they decide to play today. This is called the Russian. It is the Russian. In Mother Russia, if you play the Russian, you are Russian. But nobody of them is Russian. Um, so knight f1, bishop d3, queen d3, c6, knight g3, b3. I mean, this is very cool. This is just very cool. I think they're both trying to go to tie breaks. And then whoever's going to play better is going to play better. I just really think this is a very equal game to play. And yeah, let's check. We did against Young. Well, I'm saying he's not wrong. All right. We did against Jeffrey Young. Um, let's see what they decided to go for. So, d4, d6 by Jeffrey. Jeffrey did lose yesterday, which means that today he has to win to go, to even go to tie breaks. He did manage to do that um, against uh, Nils Gondilius and then managed to knock him out in tie breaks. We also had him here where he commentated his game. And uh, d6 is a very nice way to start the game if you really don't want any opening theory. Um, so let's see what he decided to play for. He goes for the king's Indian with bishop f5. I feel like we've seen him play this already. Uh, queen b3, queen c8, and just c6, castle, castle, rook e1, bishop g4, e4, takes takes, and e5. Yeah, I think um, black has fine position here. c5 plays, but we did very nice move. Uh, knight e6, bishop e3, knight e7, and rook d1 on the board. Um, yeah, I think... What do I think? Um, I think black doesn't have much ways to play for a win here. Of course, he will try, but I think that this queen is a bit misplaced. This pawn on c5 is actually a great push, great push move, because you stop any b6 um, pushes. Um, I think that, yeah, black is now just thinking how to even proceed, but I, uh, I think that uh, white is just doing fine. Yeah, very solid from the Let's check Ivic against Andrejkin. There, It was a draw yesterday, and today we're going to see the French. We see the French. Oh, finally. <laughs> finally, another French. I uh, miss the French so much. Um, so let's check what they played. Is this knight e7, knight f3, knight f6? This is very um, commonly played in the last years. Um, I'm not. I don't play it myself because I lost once against low-rated player, and then I said I will never play this again. Um, bishop d6, bishop e3, castles, queen e2, b6. Very nice. This bishop belongs on b7 and this diagonal where it can be very uncomfortable. Long castle, the bishop b7, king b1, and c5. Now c5, to play here, is very brave. Why is it brave? It's brave because the rook is on d1 and it's looking directly at the queen. For example, if white takes, black cannot take with a bishop because of bishop h7 and then white is just supposed to be winning this, I think. So after dc, I think the black is trying to take with a pawn, which does make sense. And for example, now this is a bad move because then, or, or if he takes with a knight, because here black has rook and two pieces for a queen, that which is enough. So after dc, bc, I think that Ivic is thinking how to play this, but I think he should take on c5 because these two pawns are not great. Especially because these bishops are kind of strong, so this is very interesting. Uh, this is very, very interesting for sure. But this is still on the board, and Ivic thinking, what should he do? Let's ask the compu computer what should he do. Actually, computer says bishop g5 instead of taking here. Um, and after h6, he wants bishop h4, rook c8, very logical, and he wants just bishop, bishop c4. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Some even sacrifices on e6 maybe in the future, but this is very equal. So I think Andre can picking a very nice opening. Um, 
with Hugo Swiddler, let's check this one before um, we move on somewhere else. So, oh, we have the Grenfell from Swiddler and the, from also we have, yeah, Swiddler is a great Grenfell expert himself, expertee, experter. <laughs> well, he knows Grenfell very well, that's my point. Castle, castle, d5, 94 takes takes, 95 takes takes. Uh, bishop e3, um, yeah, f, 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 we're back, right? We're back, we're back, right? Yeah, again, it, it uh, shut down. Just refresh, just refresh, yeah. Just refresh. A refreshado. Uh, um, yeah, I don't know what that was. Again, OBS messing with me every single stream I have. Um, so, oops. <laughs> yeah, just, just spam in the chat refresh for the people that are wondering what is wrong here. So, uh, Rook C1, yeah, I would go maybe... Okay, let's, let's check. So, let's, I want to see if F4. Bishop G7 and C4. Why is C4 a good move? Because if I go E5 immediately, then Black can maybe push C4, and then D5 can be bad in the future, but computer says just Rook D8 and C4 is good enough. I just don't believe in that. I just believe in that, though. But actually that's winning, aha, uh -huh, because queen f3 and just rook d1, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah, I would go f4, 100%, and after bishop d7, yeah, most likely c4. Um, and I would say, you know what, I'm threatening so many stuff, and you have to defend yourself. So this is something that with you go still can play. Too much talk about King's Indian. Our computers want to do straight. Mm, depends. Okay, so now we're at the game Dubo Espinko. If somebody was asking um, if Dubo will go through to play Magnus if Magnus wins, but um, we have to keep in mind yesterday Espinko was white, he was winning, but then now the problem is because he was winning, the question is is he psychologically strong enough? to pull today's game through and not make a stupid mistake because of yesterday's game. Because like I said, chess is a very psychological game, so um, it's just... We're gonna see how Sipenko will react today. Um, so he played with this, A6, this is very popular in the last, in the last times. Um, he, because A6 has many ideas, maybe even sometimes B5, sometimes D5. Um, and I c3, d5, takes takes, bishop g5, bishop e6. I play this with white myself, and actually black is just doing great in these type of structures. So bishop f4, bishop, uh, queen c7, takes takes, h3, castle, castle, g6. Um, I played this two times, I actually beat GM um, Moroni from Italia in this opening and lost against Grandmaster Svan Erasmus, who was also playing in the World Cup. So g6, rook e1. Rook okay, 8, knight g5, and c5 by Sipenko. So usually you would not go c5 in this type of position because you would kind of prepare yourself for the play on here, on this side. So c5, I think, um, was a very interesting approach. Uh, take, stakes, take, stakes, and now we have black has an isolated pawn on d5, um, which can make it uncomfortable. So rook d1, rook c8, queen e2, queen b6, he should be one on the board, knight e6 and rook d2 now on the board. Yeah, so the thing is that black has this isolated pawn, but if he can push it, for example, yes, if he has d4 in this position, black, I think is doing great um, if he gets rid of this pawn. So yeah, I think just d4 is a very nice move, especially because rook is on e8, pinning the queen, and yes, d4 is played by Esipenko, very nice move, and it's gonna be a very, very interesting game. Prague made a mistake, okay. Uh, did you see the mo moment Spinko realized he missed the winning move? I didn't see the moment because I don't know if he realized it during the game. It's hard to know if he realized it. I think he just knew he missed something. I No, so I, I, I think that's what happened. So Spinko, he knew he was winning, but I don't think he actually knew exactly where because it was really hard. Um, Okay, yeah, yeah, we can check the clip for sure. 
Um, but I would, yeah, Dubo or Sipenko, any any of that would be good player for either Magnus or Vitashek. So we should check um, Shankland Jumabayo because that was the request. Um, so we left it at at here. F5 played by Jumabayo, very aggressive, nice. Knight h3 and e5. He's just going for all the pawns. But yeah, well, I just takes, takes, takes. Now there's been a trade of queens, which favors white, because of course black is the one that has to play for a win. And after this, just bishop c7. And yeah, we're gonna see bishop e6. And this is gonna be very, very interesting game for sure. Very interesting game. I mean, we're gonna see this almost 100%, but yeah, I think black is worried about check, king moves, some knight g5 is very uncomfortable, and you really don't want to go bishop a2 usually, that's usually not a good move. So, um, yeah, this is very, very interesting game for sure, but black is the one that has to play for the win. Oh, king's gambit, sorry, sorry. Thank you, thank you, John21. Um, so, so Praga made a mistake, let's check that. So King C1, Queen C7 made by Prague, uh, B3, that was expected because you want King on B2 and yeah, and safe. So E5, yeah, that was very, very brave, but Prague did calculate something, uh, I don't know what, but he wants to open up the king, so I mean, it's, it's a, in a way logical, but this is a very hard position to play by human, to be honest. It's hard to make accurate moves. It's easy to look at the computer and evaluation, but when you're at the board, you just don't know what you should do usually. <laughs> and yeah, this is a very interesting position. So king b2 probably will be played, and maybe black will actually take on g2. We'll see about it. I don't think so, but we'll see about it. But if king goes here and the rook comes here, and king is just safe here, so I think and we are doing fine. Greg is five head. Me blew my mind. Wow. Um, okay, so let's check the woman's board and then I'm gonna take a quick break just because I I need some water. I have some water but I need some more. Um, so let's quickly check ju just the, the woman's um, games as well. Um, Goryachkina with white pieces today. If you remember yesterday, she lost against the Fanova and today she has to win in order to go to tie breaks, which would, would be Goryachkina's first tie breaks. But let's see what they decided to go for. Stefanova with a very stable uh, slot defense. Um, and let's see with a6, Chibanenko. Oh, I mean, if she goes b5, of course. Um, ah, she goes for this. And rookie one. I feel like I played this already once or a few times. h6, h3, b6, rook d1, queen c7, and e4. Okay, I didn't exactly play this, but yes, this is like Goyachkina did everything she wanted. So she made a loop for the king. She put the rooks on the most optimal squares. She developed all the pieces, she developed the queen, and now she goes for the push. So this is a disciplined way to play chess. This is um, what everyone teaches you about when you're a chess beginner. Put your king to safety, develop your pieces, connect your rooks, and then start attacking. And that's like beautiful. This is like, she's playing by all the rules um, of chess. So if we're now on the board, and yes, if of course, if five big threat winning a piece, so now Stefanova has to think either to take, take, or go e5. So yeah, hello, hello, hello. Um, yes, there are lots of tension, yes, yes. Daniel is doing okay, yes. How many kings game have been played at the World Cup? Not a lot, not a lot. Um, is queen b5 possible move for white in the which game? In MVL Pragnananda, Christian, or which one? Um, hello, Armin. Um, yes, d quarters openings are very nice. Good morning, good morning. Uh, I have not played Goyachkin over the board. You were thinking exactly zero? Yeah, I think <laughs> this is exactly zero is the right number. Uh, 
go. Yeah, we'll see about that. Um, next game, Subhayava Lachno. I think it finished not draw yesterday, so let's check what they played today. Oh, Grunfeld by Lagno. That's very, very interesting choice by her. Um, and this is yeah, one of the main lines for for white and black to play in. And yeah, this is still, I think this is still supposed to be theory, yes. And after knight a5, knight a5 was, was mostly played. Knight before by Lachno, though. And after a3, knight a2. Very interesting. So this is now the position, and Rook is on c7. This is also a very dynamic game, because look at this horsey here. Look at this horsey, what does it do here? What's his idea? Um, and also this bishop is very undeveloped, so this is going to be a very, very interesting match to watch. Yes, now it's in the corners of today's game. Um, all these questions, just take a look at laronook.com. <laughs> should make yeah, my own... Um, Web page. Uh, how is pronounced the name Hikaru? It's just Hikaru. Hikaru. Is Horsey dying? No, no, no. Horsey is not dying. No, no, no. Horsey is not dying. It's just in the corner. So it's not feeling so great, but you know, it's not dying at all. Um, was it true against Kostinuk? Let's check Kostinuk. No, it was a draw yesterday. It was a draw. So I think Kostinuk could back black pieces. We'll try to go for a win today, um, even though um, she's black. But okay, I think maybe they will even try to go for equal game. Um, and then... Um, so here black didn't take the d3. There's some trick here, if I remember. Um, well, trick. Is it bishop c2 an idea actually? I'm trying to remember what's the trick here. Or is it g4? Uh, so why does black not take here exactly? Hmm. I'm going to add with the help of computer, bishop c2, queen d8, ah, and b4. Interesting, interesting. And now apparently this is okay for white. Very interesting, very interesting. So that's why black didn't take d3, so king h8 was played, knight e4, bishop here, g4, uh, bishop g6, and knight g3. Um, knight e7 and bishop c2. I do like white's position to be honest. Yes, the king is a bit open, but that means that white has a pretty nice attack here. Maybe some knight e5s coming in the future, maybe some d4s. And this is going to be also a very entertaining game. The next game is Spitz, Elizabeth against Muzichuk Anna, um, their best friends. So playing each other is very tough, but some, there has to be a winner. Uh, so a6, d3, this is very sideline-ish uh, from Elizabeth, but very nice preparation from her and f5 by Mrs. Jokana, very, also a very nice move. So yeah, this is still um, at move 8, the game is very undeveloped, so we're going to see much more things happening on the board. Uh, no, knight, knight is not trapped, no, no, no. Um, Kostinuk is streaming now. <laughs> well, maybe she got someone uh, to stream for her. Uh, so Zagnate against Shuvalova. This is going to be, I think, game to watch. As we can see, there's already some very nice sacrifice in Bishop 6 Why is this a game to watch? You're asking yourself a very good question. Because Zagnitze with black pieces yesterday lost against Shuvalova Polina. That means Zagnitze with white pieces today has to win in order just to go to tie breaks. As you can see, this is already very dynamic. Uh, let's see what happens. So she went for this, and then some some nice h4 idea, and queen e2, knight f1. Like I said, this is usually an idea in this position. Takes knight e4, takes takes. Oh, and now just bishop h6. Very very beautiful. Yes, yes. I I need to. Pre yes, uh, it's my last day. Not not because I need to prepare the yeah? kid but because uh, I'm playing another chess tournament um, in two days. 
in two days. One, two, two or three days, I don't remember this point. <laughs> two or three days I have an next tournament, so yes. Um, I'm playing a lot, so after the tournament I'm playing European Women's Championship, then European Open Championship, then Serbian League, then European Club Championship, then Croatian League, and then Polish League. So I'm playing a lot of things, a um, lot of, lot of things this summer. You'll miss me? Thank you. Um, I'm playing in, in Biel. So yeah, Bishop 86 played um, on the board. This is very interesting. If Black takes, what's the idea? Is the idea going Bishop... Is this an idea? But then after this, no, 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 no. What's the idea? It's it's very interesting, but I don't exactly understand it. Oh, I think yeah, I think it has to be this though, because Black cannot take D to Bishop H7, and it just oh no, my Queen. Um. And then Queen H5 or Queen G4 is coming. Maybe maybe Queen H5 immediately though. Oh yeah, maybe Queen H5 immediately. An idea would be Rook E4, Rook G4. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Bishop H6 is very, 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 very nice um, move. And let's quickly go to other three games and then um, we'll go back. So this is Batsashvili against Gunina. It was a draw yesterday. Gunina was winning, but it was hard. So we forgive her. Uh, and now Batsashvili with white pieces. Um, two bishops already, but black has very nice horses in the center. This is close position for the bishops. So um, this is very, very nice. Horsey center. We see the horsey center going on here. The horsey, horsey center. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh no, my coverage. No vaccination? I am vaccinated, I am vaccinated. Uh, will it just cover them? No, I don't think it will. Will hopefully it will, but uh, I don't know who. Uh, next game, Tang against Kadem Sara. Kadem was also very much winning in the opening yesterday, but she also didn't win, so today she's black. And let's quickly check the opening choice by her. I like the opening choice by black, actually. Um, it's very uncomfortable to play with white pieces against that. Um, but I think Tang Zhong was just so precise. I think she's, I would call her precise player. Um, so I think that um, this is going to be a very tough match because I think Sar is also very strong, very talented, um, great, great, great player, um, and also Tang Zhongli. So this is going to be very interesting to watch. But yeah, I think White is being very precise in this game so far. Uh, next game and the last game of women's action is Kashinskaya against Sadrukasova, who drew yesterday. Uh, like Tan and Tan Zhongli and Sara Kadem, they both drew. Um, so they don't need to fight for 100% win. But this played by um, Alina Kashinskaya, this is um, Alpha Zero uh, line, if I remember. This is an Alpha Zero line. You just give a pawn, but it's a tricky Alpha Zero line. Um, Queen f4, yeah, I remember I, I studied this as well with white pieces and just g4. This is this was played by alpha zero, as you can see, Kushinskaya still in preparation after g4. d6, g5, knight e8, and just knight d5 still in preparation. Alina against Sadokasova. What a strong preparation! And here, still in preparation, and here, still in preparation. And now this is A6 was the move where her prep had stopped. Yes, what a nice preparation. What a nice preparation by Kashinskaya. Okay, Rukumuda, yes, that's a very good question. Um, The final match of one section will be the same time of open section semi final match. Yes. Uh, the final match of one will be yes, yes, yes. That's true. Um, your suit fits perfectly with the overlay. Thank you. That's very nice. Um, so I do know, for example, Kishinskaya is the very, well, I, like I said yesterday, and assume is a dynamic player, while I think Sodokasova is more of a. 
universe I wouldn't say position, I would say universal player, but usually she's not going for the attacking dynamic style, but she plays solid positions. Well, Alina can become very aggressive. Tan Zhonghui, I don't know very much. I think she's very, very precise and, and solid player. Sara Kadem also, I think, um, is more solid than dynamic, but if the position turns into dynamic, she will also play the great. But I don't think she prefers the dynamic type of position, but it's really... Also, I think it's half-half. I think she's half-half. She's dynamic. She's... Um, also very positional, but I think more of a dynamic style. However, Gunina just 100% dynamic. Just She just goes and crushes. Um, Zagnize also a very dynamic player. As you can see, she's very well tactically prepared. Uh, Shuvalova, um, Shuvalova I could not really evaluate. I think Shuvalova is also half-half. She can play both types of positions um, very well. Um, Muti Chukana, is, of course, we all know, Miss Solid, while Pitz Elizabeth is Miss Messi, uh, which, you know, you can get the context from that. Uh, Kostinyuk is aggressive player, and Muzijuk Maria, I think, is, yes, she is. Muzijuk Maria, unlike her sister, Anna, is aggressive player, so I think they, they are very in contrast in that way, that Maria is aggressive and Anna is very solid. Subayava Bibisara um, is aggressive player, and Lachno also, I think, quite, but I think Lachno is also very, very good at playing solid positions. While Goryachkina, amazing player in, in a dynamic and in solid positions as well, and Stefanova is more of a dynamic player. So, just, yes, giving you all this inside info you have to know here. Uh, me, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a dynamic player, but I'm learning to play. Yeah, lower player, uh, learning to play more positional as well. Uh, yes, thank you, Scrooge, for giving the link in the chat. This is where you can watch the broadcast of the Women's World Cup. Really nice. Yes. The question just came to mind. Yes, so come with that. Of course, just. Just ask the question about uh, Tang Zhonghui, and I will go back to the open section, and and we'll see um, the Carlson Boitashi game. Ooh, we have some progress here. We should totally cover it. Um, so we left it. Uh, we left it at here. So we left it at c4. c4 was played. We didn't see that yet. c4, bishop e7, knight c3, castle, queen e2, queen c7, f4, knight b6, bishop b3, e5, knight f5, takes, takes. And this is now the position on the board. As you can see, Magnus down on the clock again. So that means, yeah, he was thinking, or maybe he's not sure, or, you know, you never know. But yeah, being down on clock is not. Um, Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yes, Frack had planned another tourney from 2014. He would be knocked out by now. Yay, Woody, we were supposed to play the same tournament with Prague, but now Prague is staying here. Um, so yeah, no, this is the position. And honestly, like, look, I mean, look, the window F file is open. It's just very nice for white, I think. Um, but I think we're gonna see very, very dynamic game. Like this bishop here is not good, but maybe rook say something like that. C4 could be the idea. Here I think this is just very, very um, still open, still unclear. So we'll see what they will decide to go for. Um, right. Is G4 a good idea for white? Uh, also, how is Piotr doing? Which Piotr? Oh, ah, the Mr. Casper, yeah. Or do it do you mean Piotr by by Casper or or who um is G4 a good idea for white so first of all the black to move so we don't know what black response is but G4 I would not say is a good idea so far because you weaken your king too much for example I think that you get way too many weak squares so g4 is not a great move to play yet. 
maybe in the future, but you have to prepare it. First of all, look, you're not developed yet. Your bishop is still not developed. And if your pieces are not developed first, you cannot really start attacking. That's just wrong. Um, because that means that you're going to be behind the development and then when you're going to need your pieces, they're going to be undeveloped, so you cannot even use them. So I would not go for G4 aggression immediately at all, just because first I would develop this, maybe attack this pawn, maybe put the rook on G3, um, look at the king that way. Um, and G4 is not necessary because, you know, you don't really achieve much with it either. Um, it doesn't have high threats, that's what I would say. Um, because you have other problems to deal with. For example, black will attack this one, and if you go g4, he will just take it, and then if you go g5, then he already has this check. Uh, attacking the king, you would have to move, and then he has some, um, maybe knight, knight d5, and so on. So, it depends on what black uh, plays as well. Prague was meant um, to play to play BL open. Magnus will play King H1. That that's logical. Yes, King H1, King H1. And if you go King H1, you will also no, not go G4 because you want your king to be safe. You don't want it to be open. Um, oh, thank you, Elgrand. That's very nice. You what did you miss? Nothing much, nothing much. Um, it's nothing wrong to attack, but believe me, not for the world champion. It is playable. Uh, it's it's playable. I'm not saying it's not playable. I'm just saying it's not the best option to go for in this type of position. Well, in, in this certain position. It's playable, but opening the king like that potentially can lead to some bad moves. We can also check, like, for example, if black goes rook e8, well, g4 actually is recommended by computer, but I just... Okay, so we can make a bet. I would, I mean, I don't know what to bet on, but in case this is played, do you think Magnus will play king g4? Do you think he will play g4? He might go g4. Let's, let's just think what else is a good move. I mean, yes, Retajic here has to think, that's true. But g4, for example, doesn't white just take? So black just take? And then, I mean, I don't know. We can make a bet. Who bets that if rook e8 is played, that g4 will be played? We can make, yeah. Of course, just. Um, sometimes moves are really not understandable, yes. You saw you didn't check an engine. Yeah, that's a very good idea, though. But I, I really don't think... I don't know, it just so aggressive but he actually might do it yeah prediction time prediction time wait can i make a prediction here i will try yes i will try to open a prediction okay i will i will make it um so okay will magnus go for g4 um yes in next few moves you I really wonder yeah okay um, and I will leave it on for like 10 minutes or no five minutes is enough five minutes is enough for the prediction so yes let's start the prediction that's gonna be very interesting to, to see um, I really do wonder I really do wonder it's, it's a good move by engine which I really is surprising me I <laughs> would do it Diva would do it. Yeah, I just... Guys, just see. Cleavage. Uh, oh, Peter Swiedler. Okay, okay. I don't you know Piotr Vinyam, which was Peter Swiedler. Yeah, yeah, we can check Swiedler. I'm just like, cleavage, and I'm like, am I showing cleavage? And I'm like, no, I'm not showing cleavage. So that was weird. Oh. Also, the internet is lagging a bit, sorry. Sorry. 
the internet is not the best right now. So for that reason, uh, I don't know if you can hear me well, but for that reason, I will take a break, let the internet calm down and stabilize, and I will come back. Okay? Okay, I think it's back, but uh, yeah, it's a bit weird. Audio is fine, yeah. No, it's not the audio, it's, it's the Wi-Fi that, that scares me. Okay, now it's fine. Yeah, it's a bit there, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry about that. Um, I, I will take a break anyway, because I have to. Um, and yeah, this is just like, make the prediction. I really wonder what's gonna happen. It's not much of a, I mean, it's not, it's, yeah, I just don't know. I just, I don't think I would go for it, but it's very interesting. So yes, um, it's a little cracking, okay. We'll take a break and come back in like 10 to 15 minutes. See you soon. Lee Chess. Lee Chess.
VHS. I hope my microphone works okay now. I took a break. I took a break. We back. Yeah, I hope just tell me if my microphone is okay. And then she played G4. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. He played. Who is my darling, Stark? Who, who is my darling? But G4 by Magnus. Like, maybe he heard us though. <laughs> That's totally possible, actually. Um, because actually, on that, I will. I... Let me show you. Wait, let me show you. Because do you see this wall here? Do you see this wall? Well, this wall is made of probably cardboard. And on the other side of the wall, there are players. <laughs> There's a player refreshment snack room. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> maybe they heard us. <laughs> uh, oh, sorry, you were jamming. I'm so sorry. I, I'm so I apologize. But it's the best remix ever. I agree. Um, but G4 played by Magnus. That's insane. He played G4. He went for it. Very nice. Takes and this is now on the board. The only problem is that they're only on move 15. So they need to make 25 more moves to make time control. And Magnus already on 37 minutes. Which um, means he's not so confident about his position actually. It means maybe he's not feeling so comfortable. But yeah, we'll see what's going on here. Oh, thank you, Dao, for gifting me a sub. That's really nice. Now I can, now I can um, use Lichas emotes. Wait, 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 wait a second. I can use Lichas horsey. Give us our points. Oh yeah, yeah. I will give you your points. Yes. Um, let me just go for it. Just, just give me a second. Um, Choose outcome. We have so many people said yes, man. Complete prediction. Yeah, congratulations. You know, you predicted correctly. Uh, he did go for G4. Uh, hopefully, he didn't hear us, but he did go for G4. Always play G4. Yes, so today we learned a new thing. So, oh, Lucas, <laughs> that is so much. Uh, yeah, always play G4. I think this is how we, what we learned today. Yeah, we're as, you, you guys are as good as Magnus. I didn't believe he would, but I mean, he's Magnus, so. But I really didn't believe he would. Uh, that's bravo, bravo guys. That would be insane if Magnus got eliminated. It wouldn't, be, yeah, it would be a surprise. But uh, Vitashuk is a great player. So Bishop of Fort played, I think that's very logical. Yes, if Bishop does protect the king from this side, it's, it's absolutely fine. Um, you keep his no win. <laughs> um, yeah. No, no, I cannot go to the refreshment room. <laughs> I cannot go to the to the refreshment room. Okay, let's check the next game. So, Shankland Mobile, we have um, a few dramatic. Stuffs. Okay, I think we actually left it like here, and here Bishop D7 was played, so Jim Abayo is not feeling good, that's a fact. He has only 26 minutes on the move 11. Move 11, he only has 26 minutes, so he's not feeling well. Um, Kovala with white pieces um, has to win, but he did pick an interesting opening, but I think that the sale just... <laughs> just doing great here. I think for the South has a great position. The only move for white, guys, the only move for white is Ruby G1. There's no other good move because, okay, of course, this is a threat. For example, this is a terrible move because of knight f2, and for example, if the rooks move, now just rook e8, and apparently this is just terrible for white. 
So Cavallo are not doing so great for half to win situation. Um, next is Durabali against the Satoru. The Satoru has to win, and apparently he's quite better here. Let's see where we left it off. We left it off somewhere here, yeah. And now they exchanged a lot, but then two bishops are coming to play just because um, the center opens so much. So two, two bishops are now playing, and actually black is a better. He, he even decided to give up the bishop pair in order for to get this terrible pawn structure for white. Like white has this pawn and these two pawns and this pawn. These are all weaknesses. These are terrible pawns. King b2, g6 just for protection. Um, and rook e8. So yeah, actually black doing uh, the Satoru, young, young talent doing very great. Um, very nice position to have when you have to win. Uh, even though a lot of pieces have been exchanged, that doesn't mean that the game is going to be automatically drawn because white's pawn structure is just terrible and I think the Satoru knows how to play for it. For example, after rook a and a5 already attacking this one, white is almost forced to go c4 to block this. And if white goes c4, look at this bishop. That's why now black just goes back. And if white has to go e4, Look at this bishop, just it's terrible. And all the pawns are on white squares as well. So this is just not so so great. But rook e5 played by, by Abdusator, which is now also makes makes sense, makes sense as well. Uh, um do <laughs> uh, Okay. So this is now on the board um, in very very interesting game to play definitely uh, to look at as well this is going to be an end game to watch but now let's move on to the russian derby well it's not really russian russian ukraine derby but apparently like this is very interesting game because both players can be very dynamic from Grishchuk to korobo korobo can be very aggressive we know that we i think we watched him in grand prix well at least i watched him i don't know if she did but uh Grishchuk, though I really liked his opening choice because he picked the Italian with a bit different uh, setup. Uh, knight f1, knight g3, c6, bishop e3, knight g6, h3, d5, takes takes, and d4 played. d4 played by Grishchuk, takes takes, and bishop e6 now on the board. I think it's Grishchuk has 30 minutes, which, you know, it's typical for Grishchuk, but also Krobo doesn't have much more time. Can they go to the bathroom during the gates? Yes, they can. Yes. Um, I mean, they can also walk around and they can go to the refreshment room to get water, um, maybe some snacks and juice or coffee or tea. This is what they offer here. And yeah, I'm just gonna drink. <laughs> I'm drinking my own coffee I brought today. Um, so Bishop is on the board. The thing is that um, if white does stay, which looks very logical, there is a problem occurring on the board, and that is the f2 weakness for white. f file is open, bishop gets activated, and I don't know if white is actually feeling comfortable in case of this. And this would have to be played, and oof. Yeah, this is a very tough position to play for white. I wouldn't go for it. Bishop should to do very reasonable move because then you're threatening to take, take and then win a piece or from that way as well. So that that's much more logical move to play, I think, with white. Also, maybe some queen d3 ideas in the future. Um, always checking the 8 7 square. But yeah, bishop e6 now on the board and um, we're still thinking and we'll probably be thinking for quite a long time. Burkic Martirosian, a very interesting match because Burkic has to win in order just to go to tie breaks. Hmm, will he match? So far we see Hike so, so, so well prepared. I think we left it at the opening where the queen e7 was played. Yeah, queen e7. Knight e4 takes takes, bishop here, bishop back, and just black is very solid. Black is just very, very solid. So, 
For that reason, I don't think, I mean, Berkic has to try. Berkic will prefer to lose than, than, you know, give it his all and lose than just, you know, play an equal game and draw because he cannot really afford that. He cannot afford to take a draw because then it's, it's out, you know, the end of the tournament for him. So D5, a very nice try, you know, making imbalance on the queen side, making more space, rooks coming to the open piles. So he will try. Um, however, let's check the MVL Pragnananda game. So apparently somebody sacrificed the queen, as I see from the last position. Okay, this is logical. King B2, knight D5. CD5, rook C8. Oh, and he just gave the queen. <laughs> Smooth. Uh, the thing is that, for example, black can really not take this one just because this is lost due to bishop c4. Very nice pin on the board. Um, so that's why a black decided to go h6. And now as you can see, white has a rook and a piece for a queen. But that's not the point. The point is that white has two rooks and a bishop pair for a queen, rook, and a bishop, and a pass pawn, <laughs> and a pass pawn. So this is why white is doing good in this position, um, because pieces are very well coordinated, which is the first important thing, and the second important thing, he has enough sufficient material and even a pass pawn to play for. Um, ice coffee, yeah, ice coffee. Uh, Italian? No, no, Italian's a great game to play on top levels. I don't know why you would think that he's facing 1000. Italian is a great, great game. I actually am afraid to play against it when I play 5. Yes, the games do last 6 hours. And thank you uh, for the compliment. Yeah, Magnus did play G4, sellout, he did. Um, Yes, yeah, so they cannot have phones with them. No, no, that's illegal. We cannot even have our pens. Like, you know, you have to write your game with a pen and we cannot even have nor the pens, nor the watches. As a commentator, I can have it, but as a player, I was not allowed to have um, a watch, even though it's analog, nor a pen, nor anything. It's very, very well controlled. And toilets are being checked every hour. So yes, hello, hello. Um, Italian is hard opening. It's not the hard, yeah, it, it can be. The thing is that um, on the highest level, every opening is a hard opening because you have to show so much chess understanding besides the chess preparation. So, yeah. Alexandra Kostinyuk, okay, we'll check her game. Did they check the ears? No. Well, of course, it's easy, but if we're wearing headphones, we cannot wear. D6 played by MVL in very, very smooth position. Let's go for the next game. Pirun against um, Sinjaro. Um, Sinjaro lost, so Pirun just needs a draw, and so far Pirun has a great position and um, nothing to worry about. Bakro, though, with black pieces, only also won yesterday, so he just needs a draw to secure um, the next um, round. And we already saw this position, yeah, we saw rook b8, bishop f2 was played, f5, and knight d4, this is where we left it off. And the question is to take or not to take, and Bakro says, no, I will put more pressure on you with bishop f6. So then bishop a6 was played, um, rook g2, rook g1, rook g6, bishop c4, queen b6, looking at, oh, sorry, look. No, I didn't want to play that. Looking at the big two square and the rook g3 right now on the board. Apparently black is doing good, but you have to keep in mind that black has left his king in the center. So even though computer's evaluation is a little advantage for black, that doesn't mean that it's easy to play. Um, especially when your king is not exactly on the safest squares. I mean, it's safe behind here, but you never know when some sacrifices can occur in the game. Um, we can see Wangas' game, yes, 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 yes. But I think we already saw it, so... Do they check? Yeah, yeah, of course they check. They check everything. We have metal detectors. Um, 
Why didn't Bakura take Pawn on H2? Well, it's very, very um, logical explanations. Nor did he take the bishop on F2. So, of course, if he took the bishop, rook j8 is coming, king moves, and the queen is lost. So, that's the only reason why he didn't take nor the bishop nor the pawn. He has to go back, but he has to go back on a good square as well. He also should not take, that's also not um, great, because then he has strat again and he's forced to go king f8 to stop, and then the queen comes in and queen h6, and it's just not very smooth to play this position. So, rook g6 is just a very good move. And yeah, bishop c4, queen b6, and rook g3 now on the board. Uh, Artemio, Karyakin, let's check if something special happened. Artemio is actually better, but I, I was saying that Karyakin has got a good position, so I don't know what happened in between. Some exchanges and some nice c6. Okay, so white is more active, that's a fact, and I guess because of the activity, it's just easier to play. Hare Krishna Tabata Bay though. Tabata Bay very, very well prepared. Hare Krishna though is forced to win this game, otherwise he's out of the tournament as well. And so far he's, he's gonna try, he's gonna try his best. Um, especially as he has knight against um, a bishop and better pawn structure with white pieces. Uh, Idani, Duda, this is just very equal. Um, we do expect a draw here. We did Dion, Jeffrey. We did just need to draw as well in order to secure the match. And um, yeah, I, this is just type of pawn structure that is just very equal. And I don't think Vidit has to worry about anything. He will still worry just because this is what chess players do. We have to worry about everything and every single outcome. So, for example, he's probably thinking b4 or h3 or f3 or some other moves um, to play. So, we'll give Vidit time to think, but so far so equal. And Ivic against Andrekin. We saw the French here. We saw the French and let's see how Ivic decided to play. King b1, c5, bishop g5, he plays perfectly. And queen c7 on the board, Dimitri Andrekin, feeling very, very uncomfortable. How do I know that, you might ask? Because for queen c7, he was thinking for 40 minutes. He spent 40 minutes on his clock to play queen c7. And now it's up to Ivic to decide what to do with this position. And the best move is taking, pawn would take back, and knight h4, because then, of course, there's a threat of bishop h7 or queen h g4 or queen h5. Um, so then f5 would be played, and queen h5, and then there are some checks here, and it's just a very, very uncomfortable position to play for black. So let's see what Ivic will decide to play after uh, queen c7. Keep in mind that if Ivic wins today, he goes through to the next round, which would be a very, very, very big surprise because it's not even 2600. It's not even 2600. Um, wooden pawns. That's impossible. Um, yes, so we'll do your sign. <laughs> yes, he has stuck with 14. No, I think he already has stuck, stuck with 16 in his brain. Um, uh, no, but we have uh, not only metal detectors, they also have security checks. We have a lot of checks here in order to stop and toilet checks. Um, we have a lot of security here to check the toilets for any kind of metal devices and they can also always check our bags and so on and so forth. Yes, Ivic is not as young. I think he's 18 years old. Your pronunciation of Velimir last name is Poton. Despa, I'm Slovenian. So, of course, it's not hard to pronounce his name. We are all Balkan people, you know. Uh, of course, I know him very well. Uh, I, I will check how old is he. Um, I think he's 18 or something around that. Um, yeah, he's 18 years old. So, quite young, quite young player. Also, a Serbian talent. Um, Yes, every once somebody plays the print, they get uncomfortable position. So this is going to be an interesting game. That, that could be a big upset. Next game, Vitugo Siddler. Um, I, like I said, you know, if you remember here, 
I said I would go F4 and Vitiago was like, you know what, let's listen to Laura. Let's go F4. And after bishop g7, c4, yes, I like this very much. And e6, yeah, and I was just queen d3, queen f3 looked very logical. Queen d3 played rook d8 and rook d1, rook e8, and just d6. Look at this pass pawn. Look at this pass pawn. And imagine if white, imagine if white pushes e5. That's just heartbreaking. I mean, I would love to push e5. Like, look at this pawn chain. And then you can even go h4, h5. Or maybe, yeah, just go h4 immediately and just, you know, go for the attack. Because this is not actually a threat because f5 is just a good move. I like Vitugo's position. Yes, computer says, oh, this is just 0, 4. Like, this is nothing. This is equal. This is what computer says. But I disagree. I would be very uncomfortable playing this position with black pieces. Very uncomfortable to play this. Very, very, very. In the last game, Dubo Isipinko, um, very, very nice. We left it at d4. This is where we left it at d4. Takes, takes, queen d1, rook d8, rook e1. So, yeah, now this is kind of equal. I think, yeah, I don't think I could say anyone is better actually. Um, Maybe white has a bit better chances, chances as he has a bishop. Um, but otherwise, I have some blunders can obviously occur. But yes, let's go back to the Magnus's position. Because some stuff had happened. So bishop f8 was played, queen had to move. Uh, knight c4, he just took the pawn. And after g5, knight h5, knight d5, queen c5 check king h1 on the board and apparently magnus is actually winning wow even though his king is kind of open it's also very very safe so we actually yeah this is very 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 interesting for sure yes yeah, so players are allowed to drink um during the game but of course not alcoholic drinks yes not fun position uh, yes, Dubo loves rook moves. Don't don't think so. They can have doping tests. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we can have doping tests, but um, yes, we can drink. We can only drink things that they are here. We cannot bring our own beverages. Yes, Magnus is torturing. Yes. How are you, how, why would you be allowed to drink alcohol during a serious chess tournament? That makes no sense. Of course, you're not allowed to drink it. Can Magnus eat noodles? He can't because we cannot bring any food or drinks with us to the playing hall. We can only drink or eat whatever is brought to us here. So water, some juices, coffee, tea, milk for the coffee usually um, and then there's some cookies and snacks yes magnum has to sip water yes. yeah well, that would be bad yeah why would you even so b5 on the board and yeah we expect to see g6 by magnus actually so let's stick with that game and see what's gonna happen this is very very interesting we well, let's stick with this game for a bit also, yes, Vidit is doing also very comfortably. I see a lot of, in YouTube, Vidit is the most popular player, while in Twitch chat, Magnus is still number one. So that's very nice to see the contrast. But yes, Vidit is doing pretty comfortable. And hopefully he's gonna have an interview today as well, because yeah, he's always so kind. So G6 on the board, that was just pushed by Magnus, just poof. And yeah, now let's see what Wojtaszek will do. Let's just see. <laughs> Pizza delivery. <laughs> Pizza delivery? No, no, no. You just root for the ones that I interview. <laughs> yeah, true. No, 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 but it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. 
Are you allowed to chew your food? Okay, so I'm gonna tell you something. Are you allowed to? I mean, nobody's gonna put you to prison if you do it. But um, out of respect and sportsmanship, you should not. In case that you do, like you, let's say, forget about the sportsmanship, your opponent can say to the arbiter, my opponent is distracted me, distracting me with while well, eating the food, for example, then the arbiter will contact your opponent and say, please don't do this over the board, but do it um, somewhere else. Chewing gum is not inappropriate as long as it doesn't uh, distract the opponent. In case it does distract the opponent, again, like I said, you can say to the arbiter, please, my opponent is distracting me, and um, then the arbiter will take care of it. But you cannot say directly to your opponent. That's, for example, not allowed. You cannot talk to your opponent except if you offer a draw. So you always have to contact the arbiter. Two players can agree to a draw after move 30 or before move 30 in case of move repetition. But otherwise, uh, only after move 30, there is a draw allowed. I come from Slovenia. Yes, strict rules. The rules are very, very strict here. Very, very strict. Um, yeah, so this is very nice. Um, let's check the woman section very briefly just to see if anything happened. Um, Goriachkina, Stefanova. Some nice moves from both. I do like White's center with e5, f4. So I do like also Stefanova's approach to exchange as many pieces. Because, again, Stefanova just needs a draw. But, of course, Goryachkina will not stop until she gets something. Um, she will, you know, put all her energy into this game, I'm sure. Sabahava against Lagno, though. Um, yeah, I don't... I feel like they had the same position yesterday, but... I'm wrong, of course, but again, look at this horsey. Look at this horsey on A2. This horsey was on A2. This horsey was on A2 from here, from move 15. And let's see how they continued. Um, so this is now on the board. I think that Lachma, I'm going to be honest, based on the moves that she was making in the last few times, so for example, Rook C8, Rook B8, Rook B2, Rook B1. She's not feeling extremely comfortable. So um, she takes the Rook um, and Bishop A2 on the board. She takes the Rook, Bishop A2 on the board. So now Lachno is actually an exchange up, but this exchange cost her uh, two pawns as well. So I think that Bibisara will have this pass pawn and with two bishops on the board, this is gonna be extremely dangerous for for Lachno. I think Bibisari is in great shape here. Oh yeah, let's see Kostinuk Mujicok. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. No, there's no limit to offering draw. No, 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 there's no limit. Wow. No, you're not allowed to joke with your opponent during the game. No, 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 no. Um, okay, the rook is stuck. Yeah, the rook is also a bit stuck. I mean, it can go here, but that's all. Um, okay, let's check Musichuk Kostinyuk. That is the game to watch, apparently, because Kostinyuk with black pieces. I mean, Musichuk Maria went for attack. Like I said, Maria is attacking player, which is the opposite of Anna, her sister. So she just takes, just basically opened Kostinyuk's king. But rook g8, bishop between. And she sacrificed an exchange and then now has three pieces for two rooks. Wow, three pieces for two rooks. And it's just very uncomfortable for, for Maria. Is that correct? It's just very uncomfortable or what? I think it's of course a trap. I'm just considering, um, for example, if I go king e2, what's black's plan? 
Is it to go e4? Is it to go f4? Is it to go knight h2 anyway? Hmm. I don't know, but Maria has only 22 minutes, so this is a very yeah interesting position. Yeah, this is just very like I don't know what happened. I just think that this is not what Kostinuk wanted. I think that Maria has a good position, but this is very unclear. So, so this is now on the board, and actually, Black is winning, <laughs> which is very confusing. What happens after this? Just e4 takes a knight. Oh, a knight e5. Wow, so actually this was maybe Kosinuk's idea. Let's check with the computer. So just h5 and, and g5, f5, extremely strong move, takes takes, rook g8. This is actually winning for, for black already. So Kostinuk of course knew what she was doing. King f1, knight of six, knight of six. Wow, Kostinuk is actually winning. I mean, wow. This is so weird. If we're somebody's gonna die, true. Um, yeah, stock is just zero zero six. Yeah, maybe it's what she wanted. Yeah. No, but that's so insane. Like two rooks, which is worth ten for 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 three pieces, which is nine. Usually, I, I thought that two rooks could be stronger, stronger, but again depends on the activity. In this case, Black's activity is just so strong, so huge, so big. Wow, so Maria actually in trouble, in trouble. And if she loses, if Maria loses, she's also out of the tournament, just eliminated. Okay, let's quickly check Pete's Muzichuk Anna. Um, you know, yeah. This is nothing huge. I do like a black's position just because of a nice center, nice open file. You know, it just seems very comfortable. However, Zagnitza Shvalova, this is drama on the board because we saw bishop h6 and we saw bishop d7, rook c1 takes, rook d1, f5, and just giving up the queen. Shuvalova just gave up the queen because actually her queen is trapped on d4. Shuvalova's queen is trapped, so she has to go f5, take stake, so d1, and just g4 by Nana. Nana is striking back. She lost yesterday, but this strike back is just... Wow. And this is now on the board, and I think that it's a Gmidze Nana will win this game with the queen up, I think, without any problems. Yeah, minus six. As it's because there's something uh, concrete, spy, spike, uh, spiky spike, spiky spike. There's something concrete, and I think that uh, Maria is gonna lose some material in the next move. That's why minus six. Getting an energy rush is. <clears throat> You, rooks are stronger in the open, yeah, but I think the problem is that the position is just too closed and the rooks cannot really play. That's also why there's such a big advantage. We can check Magnus, we can, we can. Um, but this is super lost, yeah, this is super lost, but that just... What a nice game by Nana. I'm just so impressed by Bishop H6. Let's quickly check Batsyashvili Gunina. Um, still, this horse is... I'm gonna say these horses are just stronger than two bishops. So this is gonna be, I think, more Gunina's game. Okay, it's like Nana just won, Polina resigned. Okay, we have the first result of the day. Nana Zagnidze winning and striking back. That means they're going to tie breaks tomorrow, which is gonna be very entertaining to watch. Tan Zhongui, such an accurate player. She probably plays all the moves best by computer. So now she's just better in this position. Uh, Kashinskaya against the Dokasova, though, they're very equal. But wait, what happened? 
I thought we had, uh, oh yeah, we had alpha zero prep. Yeah, this was alpha zero prep, now I remember. So this is where they went out of prep. She just took it. Better move was f4, okay. But she just took it, moved the queen, 95, and now this is very much equal. But this is still, you know, nice alpha zero prep by Kashinska. Okay. So yeah, G6 by Magnus, we already saw this. We still don't have the response from Radoslav Wojtaszek, but I think that Radoslav is not feeling so good in this position and has to think. Yeah, you should get bonus points if you win the queen sack, yeah. Um, yeah, Achkin was systematic with development, but was perhaps conservative given the, the need for a win. No, no, like I said, Nick, um, I don't know if you were here at the beginning, but I said that Goyachkina played all the moves according to the chess rules. Take the center, develop the pieces, put the king to safety, develop the queen, connect the rooks, put them on open files, and then attack. And that's exactly what she did. She did everything by the book. And I think she did the right thing because these kind of positions, um, I don't know if she played D4, but me, I'm, I'm a D4 player, so I play these kind of positions all the time. And um, even though computer says this is equal, it's not clear. It's not clear, especially they're playing without the computer. You have to know that. So I, I think she made the right choice. Why do you think Stockfish suggests with a shift to move rook c8? Okay, let's check. Why does computer says rook c8? So computer says rook b8 or rook c8. So the thing is that why you have to ask yourself black to move, what do you do? You have to calculate, okay, if I take this, he just takes back and I take and I open his file. Okay, this of course not, I lose the rook. But first you go rook d1 and I just, you know, everything's open, everything's open. And in this position, you really don't want to open more, more files. So rook c8, for example, is just saying, okay, I have to make a different plan. And apparently this is the best plan you can make because after takes, takes, I mean, f6, g6, and for example, bishop d1. I mean, the thing is, what, what does black play here? Let's, let's think about any other logical moves. Ooh. Yes, black can take. What else is a move? a6 doesn't make sense. f6 doesn't make sense. Bishop 7 doesn't make sense. Moving the queen doesn't make sense because the queen is very active right now. So what makes sense is if you have no other moves is to put the rook on the open file because rook worked best on the open file and c is an open file. Rook b8, second best move. I don't really understand that move that much. I guess... The idea could be rook b7 and protecting the seventh rank from here, but that looks a bit weird to me. No, that wouldn't be. That's not an idea. What's the idea of rook b8? What's actually the idea of rook b8? What is actually an idea of rook b8? Let's see. I actually don't know. I guess the computer just sees that black actually has no other moves, so he just suggests. The most logical move is to move the rook that is undeveloped. I don't know. Someone could write the steps, yeah. Uh, have I ever played Anna Rudolf? No, 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 I have not. Hmm. <laughs> Permanent contract. Shoot, shoot. Yeah, so after b2 pawn. No, how b2 pawn? Rook b8 cannot go after b2 pawn. That's impossible. Um, because the, the line is closed. So the file is closed. You cannot really do much on the b file. Hey, Goku, cool. what's up? <clears throat> maybe avoiding. Yeah, maybe also avoiding queen a8 in some variations, but yeah, it's, it's possible, it's possible, but you have to move something, yeah, for sure. It, it's an uncomfortable position. Imagine I, I close the computer and forget about all the lines we just saw. What do you do? You're black, what do you think of? First thing I would think of is just, you know, trying to take 
or take here, I, I think I would first consider taking on f4 because the more pieces I exchange, um, the bigger chances I have at not losing the game. But um, yeah, at the same time, yeah, actually now that I think about it, you would like to make, put the rook on e2. And you would kind of like to duplicate the rooks on that file. So for example, what you would want to do, yes, is maybe take, I don't know with what white takes, let's say, let's say, let's say it's the knight, just for example, of purpose of the example. Then I would maybe like to go um, rook e3, because then I would like to go rook e8, and finally I have some counterplay in case something happens. So now that I see this is an idea, of course I can not go rook e3 here, because yes, I lose the rook, so you are right, some queen a8 um, ideas in the future. So in that case, I would first move the rook, that's why I guess b8 or c8 is good, so then I can take rook or bishop takes, oh sorry, let's say yeah, the knight takes and then knight um, rook e3 and then I can finally duplicate. That could be actually an idea of, of black, but it's, and the problem is that this is a very slow idea. And black, I think Wojtaszek knows that he's in trouble just because he has nothing concrete to fight the g6 with. So yeah, we'll see. Yes, now it looks like it makes sense, yes. So if you think in that way, you, you find you need to come to this, but if you think that way, that maybe is, could make sense, yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, who should we check? Should we check NVL, Pragnananda, if something has changed there? We love to see that d6, Bishop g2, rook d1, very logical, and Pragnananda is thinking, because I think rook c7 is a trap. or something similar, or just bishop c4. Yes, let's check the battle bay, okay. Uh, hey, Rusan, yes, yes, I'm very happy with the result I achieved. Tabata uh, bay, yes, Tabata bay, Hurricane, okay. Tabata uh, bay is black, okay. So yeah, like I said, so here white will be pushing this end game for years and years because white has to win. White doesn't have a choice, it has to win. If he doesn't, he can just, like, it's the same if he resigns. Um, so, black has worse pawn structure, but he has a bishop. Uh, and I think Tabata Bay can... I think it's rook g6 is a move, but this is not the move you want to play. And if you don't want to play... Oh, hello, thank you for the raid, Master Chess Dojo. Um... Yeah, but this is not the move you want to play because the rook is now would be out of the game, kind of. But you also don't want to go f5 because just knight d4, like this is losing a pawn, right? In a way, losing a pawn. Then you have to go rook g5 and h4 and rook h5, and it's just not a great thing to do. So I think the Batabe, yeah, not feeling so great. Yes, it's a, probably a draw, but why is this a draw? Oh, because you just take a2. Okay. Okay, so yeah, of course the Tabata Bay has to be precise. This is of course equal, but in in his psychological situation, when he won yesterday and today he only needs a draw, it means that sometimes you start playing a bit too passively just because you just need a draw and you say, okay, I don't need to push anything, I don't need to do anything too big, I just need to be very stable and sometimes stability doesn't work. So that's why um, it's equal but has to be a bit precise. We did though bishop h3, we did also he just needs a draw and I think, yeah, I still think that white has a good position and he should not worry about anything, Jeffrey of course will try but um, nothing to worry about here. Um, Evich though, let's see what happened here. Because Queen C7, Andrekin was thinking for 40 minutes. And Evich takes, so I have six takes, and plays D5. Now here we go looking at move Knight H4, uh, which makes a lot of sense, but he goes D5, which is very aggressive. 
um, I really wonder what's the idea. So I think he he didn't like something against knight h4, but after bishop d5 he goes knight h4 now. Ah, and the idea I think is the idea is okay. I'm, I, the idea is that so after f5, Ivich now wants to take bishop f5 because if pawn takes back, just rook takes d5 and this is lost for black. So actually that's the idea of playing the d5 in this position. And if of course he took with a pawn, that would be terrible, just because then after knight h4, he never has f5 because he just takes it for free. It's not a problem. So after d5, bishop d5, knight h4 is on the board. Andre can with 50 minutes on the clock. He, I don't think, I think Ivich might win this match. What is the best move for black? Let's just think what could be the best move for black. What I think of is c4. Um, what I think of is c4. What do you do after c4? Mm. If you are a human, what do you do after c4? Not a computer, but a human. Hmm. Oh, and we have plus 10. Okay, we'll check, we'll check, we'll check. Um, let me just check up what's after c4. Do you take on it 7 or no? So queen g4, king h8, and then what? And now takes, after king takes, and now what? Oh, and now you take, take, and knight f5 is winning. Very beautiful, very beautiful. So that would be the winning move, uh, winning thing for Ivich. Um, let's see MVL. So, so we left it at rook d1, queen here, bishop c4, king moves, and just d7. He just says, you know what, I don't care, like this is a queen, this is just a queen. And if he goes rook d8, just rook c8. Okay, I think we're gonna see resignation soon. I think MVL might be going for for just an easy win here. Bishop at seven, yo, yeah. Yes, white has a great position for attacking us. Voita played the best move. That's very interesting. Play the rook b8. Wow, he played the rook b8. That's a hard move to play, I have to tell you. I think that's a very hard move to play. The result of the first game, it was a draw. MVL Pergananda was a draw. My boy MVL. Allez, Capron. We got this. Uh, and yeah, <laughs> no, but Prognanda is a great player. I was, I was cheering for him all the time. I'm cheering for both of them, actually. I would be happy for any result they made. Um, for sure, 100%, I'm not lying. But yeah, D7 on the board, and I think, and we all just feeling very confident here. Might see resignation very soon. <laughs> uh, Rook C8 was played. Okay, let's let's check what was played. Let's check. Um, in and in Carlson. So what was played? No, Rook B8 was played. G6, Rook B8, Rook D1, and Knight F4 is on the board. Um, this is on the board. Um, and now Rook F4. Rook F4. Maybe because um, Knight F4. Can I? Oh, Knight F4. The Knight E3 is coming. Yes. So of course Rook F4. Oh, rook c8 was played. No, no, no. Oh, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, that was not played. That was not played. Um, king h8. This, uh, this is on the board. This is a position they have. Mm. This is a position they have. No, no. Yeah, only finalists get places in the candidates. So first two people. Yes. My, my phone is overheating a bit. <clears throat> yes. Has, 
Magnus has never won the World Cup. That's also a reason why he's playing this year. He never won the World Cup. Yes, like I said, no, Fernanda's very, very strong player, very talented, work like hard working. But yeah, he needs experience for sure. If Magnus reaches final, he wins, you know. He just he, he wins. <laughs> Uh, I think so, yes. If Magnus wins, then third, second and third place will then qualify for candidates. I think that's how it works. <laughs> I'm doing professional commentary where Lara is playing her daily quote of 100 blood. Yes. Okay, so this is on the board. D7, Queen E3, Rook C8, and King A7 is on the board. And I think we might see a resignation quite soon. We might see resignation quite soon. We really might. And then MVL joins us for the next three hours of commentary. D8, Queen on the board. I'm just going to sit comfortably here while our boy, our boy... Uh, our boy MVL, um, powered by MVL's apps, wins his game. Oh no, my bishop. <laughs> Magnus reaches final, Magnus qualifies for candidates, Magnus wins candidates, Magnus, Magnus World Championship 2022. <laughs> That's nice. More cracking? Oh, sorry. I'm going to change the microphone then. Um, I guess it's just overheating. I think I'm going to change it a bit. I know the volume, is the sound is worse, but I have to rest my microphone. Yes, of course, Anvil knows about the animation. Uh, oh, so that was why Amiel was so inspired to finish his game early, yes. Amiel <laughs> found my protein powder. <laughs> it's our Pracker Zine. I can speak Spanish. Goku, that was really funny. That was really funny, yeah. It's over. Amiel wins. And that means he knocks out Pragnananda, a huge talent from India. And he qualifies directly to the next uh, game. Let me check the brackets. Who is he playing? Let me check the brackets. Who who MVL actually is playing in the next uh, games? Yay! Airplane man. Sorry. How? You know what can I do? Have to do it. I have to rest my mic. I'm sorry. I will. It will go back. Don't worry. Um. Sorry, MVL uh, is playing the winner of who? He's playing the winner of Artemio Karyakin. Oh my god, he's gonna have such a tough match in the next game. But MVL is playing the winner of Artemio Karyakin, but which is good because that means well, most likely Artemio and Karyakin will tear each other out today <laughs> with such strong games they are playing. So. Um, Yes, that's who he will be playing in the next rounds. Nice code, thank you. <laughs> uh, have I ever played myself? Playing yourself is just stupid. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> because you just, you know what you're thinking, you know what your plans are. Are there so server chops? What? Probably there. I don't know. <laughs> you won most of the time. Give Amiel some more cookies? Yeah, we need to give him cookies, you're right. But I think if Amiel comes here, he will also do chats of com interview and hopefully he joins us. Hopefully. So that's where the microphones of my teammates in Dota are made, exactly. But it needs rest. It needs rest for Amiel, you know. Let's see who else can... Oh, Fedoseja also beat Kovalo. Kovalo had to win in order to go to tie breaks, but um, Kovalo just didn't manage and resigned, so for the sale, wants 2-0 and is qualified for the next round. Now let's check Magnus' game, uh, so what's on the board right now, rook e4, rook e5. Um, I think 
time will not be a problem for Magnus as he all, he still has 21 minutes uh, and Vitashik 25 so I think there's gonna be fine um, it's a game to follow but I think we'll come back to it Bishop f5 here yeah this is not showing good for Renat as he would have to win Abdusatoro though still on the winning streak where is this bishop? How did this bishop come to a8? Well, let me check how did white's bishop come to a8. That was very sus. So bishop is on a8 for white. And it's a bit blocked here though. Very sus bishop here on a8. Grish to Korobo, mm, <laughs> very equal. I think, yeah, they're just gonna go to tie breaks. Um, Barakic, Martirosian. It's gonna be a game white has to win. Like I said, he will try, but so far, so nothing special. Also nothing special. Okay, let's check uh, Pokrato Bakro because Bakro only needs a draw, but something has been messed up for for Bakro. What has went wrong for him? Let's check. Knight e7, bishop b3, queen b4. Of course he wants to exchange the queens because then he stops all the attacks on his king. Uh, queen moves and d5 played. Queen e2, queen e6, bishop e3, king f8. Yeah, the king is a bit weird. Um, and that white goes for the attack. King g8, knight f3, and rook before big mistake. What was the best move? Okay, this is again very hard. Bishop b5, the best move. And after knight e5, the idea is to take, take, and take. And then what's the difference? If rook before knight e5, why can I not take, take, and take? The difference is, ah, uh, now bishop c5 is very strong, okay. This is the difference, okay. So, this is also gonna be a very tough, tough match. So, bishop e8 is on the board. So, yeah, now white is just pushing. He, white is just pushing. King is just not very safe, I would say. I, like I said, that's the problem. Of, of these positions. King is just not very safe. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe I only can sneak in food from the players room. I think they don't have much food anyway. So, um, so Bishop A8 on the board. Let's check the next game. Artemio Karyakin. So the winner of this match plays MVL. Uh, and so far white is pushing because black has this isolated pawn and in the end games you know this pawn can be lost um, so so far Artemio doing pretty good but in case of draw they go to tie breaks Hare Krishna Tabata Beido somebody asked if white can convert this end game I think there are chances just because um, actually I worked on this type of rook end games if the bishop and knight, for example, get exchanged. And if they do get exchanged, white has huge chances of winning just because this pawn structure is very tough. And then just king kind of pushes to, to h5, uh, for example, in this kind of sense. And then uh, white has quite nice chances. But now that the bishops are on the board, sorry, bishop and the knight are on the board, it's tougher to win this. So, but of course Hare Krishna has chances to try and he will, he has to, he will try all his best and he's a very good endgame player so it's not going to be, um, it's going to be a very interesting endgame Idani Duda, this thought I thought was quite of equal but it's turning into something very open and although a lot of pieces are exchanged so if this finish in a draw wouldn't be so surprised um, we did John, John Zephry um, yeah we did like this is still the same position as 20 moves before, like, okay, 10 moves before, actually. Um, yes, yeah, some some line has opened, but so so many pieces sorry, uh, have been exchanged um, that I'm not worried for anyone here. I shouldn't be, I think. I, I'm not worried for Vidit here, but... Um, Black does have an idea of going knight here, take stakes, take stakes, and then yes, then maybe there are some chances for black. So of course, 
have to be careful with white pieces. Let's check. This takes takes. Oh, and then just bishop g6. Yeah, I mean, okay. We'll see what happens. Um, however, what I wonder what happened here. So d5, bishop d5, knight h4, and rook d8 on the board. Let's see what Ivich plays here. This is very, very exciting thing because Andrejkin only has five minutes on the clock. And keep in mind, it's only move 15. So they would need to play 25 more moves to get to time control. And with five minutes on the clock, that's a lot of moves to blitz out. Basically, he will have to play a blitz game. Um, so very good chances for Ivic here. Um, Yashna seems to be in control. I think she was in control before as well. Um, hi, Develio. <laughs> uh, yes, very, very nice game. He plays so well here, Ivic. And if he manages to beat Dimitri, he, you know, honestly, I will congratulate him personally. Hopefully, we can have him here as well if, if in case he does convert this. Um, Vitugo Swidler though, um, as we saw it, there was a very nice, this is like such a nice pawn structure to have with white pieces, um, but that's why I wanted to push e5 myself, so, so I don't run into something like e5, which happened in the game actually, um, and now yes, you kind of lose this pawn, but that's why I wanted to go e5, yeah, um, and this is still equal, but black is now pawn up actually, which I didn't like like because after d6 and this I would go e5. Okay, f6, but I think they're just weakening yourself. I'm not sure. Um, of course, they're grandmasters; they know better. I just like this, this, and then yes, you take, and then this is weak, and this is not so strong. Ah, yeah, maybe here h4 was just stronger for the reason of pushes going on, for example, yeah, rook d7 here, just h5 could happen, or yeah, something like this. Yeah, bishop f2 though played, and e5, f5, bishop f8, oh yeah, so d7 not played, why is d7 bad? Because the rook here, and, mm -hmm. okay, okay, so the go is not actually gonna convert this for sure, because he's a pawn down, but still, very interesting game. Dubo Esipinkudo. Dubo Esipinkudo. Yeah, just equal. Of course, like I said, white has a bishop, so he has more chances of winning this. But very equal. Um, Carlson, Wojtaszek, has anything changed? Rook H4 has been played. Very. I think this was the best move by computer. Um, well, yeah. I'm intrigued to see if Ivic finds the attack, yes. We'll see if he manages to find the attack for sure. Uh, Rook h4 yeah, on the board. Now we have some very nice trestles taken on a7. So that's why. Um, wow, the best move actually is this. And that's actually just giving up the exchange. Interesting. Okay, so we'll see what happens here. Um, like I forgot, I'm forgetting, forgetting something. But let's quickly check the white, uh, the women's section. For example, Gryachkina Stefanova. Gryachkina is oh yeah, she's definitely in control. I love her knight on h5. Look at this. Look to eight to g7. Maybe some rook g3 coming. Then forcing some g6 push. The knight comes to f6. Oh, the knight is so beautiful on f6. I wish my knights were on f6 so often, but they never get. Yeah, I think Goryachkin is just in control. A survival Agno, though. A survival uh, sacrificed an exchange. But now it's not so clear. I thought she was doing good, but I don't like that she went to this defense mode. And I think black actually with bishop d7, with the threat of bishop f4, doing great. Somebody is coming for an interview, I guess. Um, Bishop d7. Yeah, I think that Lachno just now did better because th these two bishops are beasts. Muzichuk Maria Kostinuk. Let's see what happened here. So, 
queen f3, knight g4, queen g2, e4, and she's just trying, but I think Kostinuk is still winning this. I don't know exactly what the winning move to play. Oh, I guess that's the question. I don't know what's the winning move to play, but... But... Um, she is winning for sure. Bates Muzi still quite equal, but it's really good in a... The horses are still on the board. Tan Zhongui with the C6 passer. That's an uncomfortable passer to play against. Um, I would not want to play with against that passer. Uh, and yeah, I think this is gonna be an interesting game. Let's oh sorry. Let's check the evaluation bar. It says that white is just better here. Um, and Kashlin Skaya here didn't manage to convert her alpha zero preparation, but she still is uh, has a very nice position. Definitely has a nice position. Okay, let's go back to the Magnus game. I think that's what you guys are most interested in. And and let's check what Wojtaszek will play on, on his moves. Yeah, the game is very exciting. Kostinik Muzicuk, yeah, yeah. You're waiting for MVL, me too. Hopefully he, he arrives, but not sure. What if he doesn't? That would be bad. That would be sad. Um, hopefully he really does. Um, so yeah, okay, if you want to see what computer says on, on that, <laughs> it's minus 8 after 96. So 96, 94 is just the winning variation here for black. Um, and for example, after rook d1, just knight f4, and queen has to go back, and then bishop comes to g8 through here, so be reinforced. And then, like, look, just just a4. Computer just says a4 or b5. And black doesn't even have to force anything because white has no moves. White has no good moves, so he can just go b5 or a4, which is very nice. So yeah. But Kostinuk has to think about her plan a bit, yes. She's thinking about something concrete. Um, yeah. Yeah. And then he wins the next game, yes. That's the effect I have on people. That's the effect. Who, which game do you want to see? Which game do you want to see? And I will show you. Good karma. Just waiting. Oh, Durabile moved off his PC to the 8th rank? Really? Um, oh, yes, I just see that. Bishop, yeah, I was thinking, like, this bishop is so sus. Uh-huh, so what after this, the idea is to what to go here, and then what happens after this, check this, wait, 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 did, is that so winning, check this and Yes, take stake, that makes sense, and what now? Oh, just take on G2 and just winning because this is such a huge threat. Okay. So this is now on the board. Both moves are pretty equal. This one runs into this, and then this anyway. And after this, just, yeah, take stakes and just repeat. So King B2 is on the board, okay. Yeah, Hedrobile is trying, but I think he, he will not... We'll see if he will hold or not. In the meantime, Pyrrhon Kasper drew Sinjaro, uh, Javok here, and that means that Pyrrhon Kasper proceeds to the next round, uh, while he eliminated Sinjaro. Um, so Sinjaro, that means, will not be playing in this tournament anymore, as he is eliminated. 
Okay, I'm, try I'm trying to check. Okay, let's watch Evich's game. Evich's game is very interesting. So let's check. Queen h5, f5. Yeah, bishop f5, bishop a2, king a2, and e5. Honestly, I would feel terrible here with black pieces. I would. But I would never play ruby d3 as well. I would just take I would just take knight f5. Is that so wrong? Computer doesn't um, disagree. Computer says yes, that's winning too. Here, here, here. And after this, we go what? We go h4. Very nice. Very nice. So yes, this I think Ivic is on his way to win this game, and Andrekin with six, six minutes on the clock. This is now the position, and of course, Ivic has to think about how to play this. I mean, he could also go rook e5. He could go. The thing is that this is a great move because after bishop f8, then this rook g3 is just crushing. So you're preparing for bishop f8 defense, but yeah, then he has bishop e5. So, and then you go, yeah, rook h3, and then you take, and then this is just terrible. I would never be able to hold this with black. I don't think there's a universe one where I will be able to hold this with black. Yeah, Fedoseo did win. Uh, we, we already covered that. Fedoseo did win, and um, and that means he's through to the next round. Uh, MVL is not here yet. No, no, no. I think MVL went to the interview somewhere upstairs first, and hopefully he will be um, going up, back, down. But he did promise he would come here, so hopefully he does. Um, because there was a promise uh, of the Frenchman in case they both secure their match, they take over Ducha's stream. That was the promise they made. So let's see if they keep their promises. And after Queen g5, Rook H, uh, King h8 was played. Um, so basically, Ivic just hopefully calculated something because here you should not give your opponent more time. And while giving a check and not calculating something, you're giving opponent your time. So that's not very nice. No, Envil has not been interviewed. <coughs> yes, Rukumuda, I, I do, I do. Uh, so Queen F6 on the board, yes, King G8. And now, oh yeah, this looks crushing. This just looks crushing. But it's not crushing. So what about this here mm, that's terrible mm -hmm. okay this is scary hopefully they don't draw hopefully they don't draw the thing is that repetition can happen hopefully they don't draw um okay let's quickly quickly check the crow at the end i'm just gonna put costinu game on the smaller side there's gonna be an interview yeah Ah. And to c5 on the board. On the small board you can see a continuous game, so you can... Um, so, yes, 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 yes. I think this is losing. Oh, and c5, okay. Um, Oh, so book. Sorry, I, I'm, yeah, I almost said a bad word. Okay. There's gonna be an interview behind me, so I'm gonna be quiet.
looking at this position I mean Leeches. I mean like for example this looks very logical but queen g6 and and take and look at one I mean seeing this that this is checkmate is just not like look at six yeah it's hard so but yeah now this is not so clear anymore it's not so clear this okay well, it's into each other. Yeah, it's the best one. Yes. What airplane am I? Oh, sorry. I forgot that we have an airplane line. Sorry. Now it's back. Now it's back. I forgot. Yes.
the cheat here, so it's uh, completely safe and uh, yeah. honest to us. We chess. Thank you very much. We Okay, um, so what happened? I'm gonna explain to you very quickly. So I, I was quiet, I know you enjoyed when I was quiet, me too. <laughs> But there was an interview of uh, the anti-cheating commission. So, like I told you about here, um, they're very serious about the uh, anti-cheating measures, about the metal detectors detecting everything, checking players personally after the games and before the games, and like all the time. Um, so, yeah, there was an interview of the anti-cheating chef uh, right behind me. So I was just a bit quiet, um, just to give them chance to speak. Um, is anyone have one of my chess heroes? No. <laughs> Why? No. no. No, he's a great player. Who is in the commission uh, from Macedonia, North Macedonia, Bojana, Bojana Beatovic was giving an interview uh, about her experience here. No, but... Uh, <laughs> But no, I, I'm a big fan of MVL, but um, it's not like I'm a huge fan. It's not like he's my hero. I don't really have heroes in chess, which is maybe a bit weird, but I really don't have heroes in chess. Uh, yeah, it was, it, they never meet your heroes, yes. Um, it was nice for you to let them speak for once, true. No, but um, I just, yeah, it was nice for me to be quiet as well. I put the Leech song, you guys were happy, I was happy. And what happened in the Magnus's game? Guys, 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 did we see that? So, Rook H4 was played Rook F5, but look, guys, this this is a move. If you turn off the computer, let's turn off the computer. How many moves does White have? White can take this, White can take this, White, white can take this, White can probably even play Queen H3. Okay, that's maybe a bit bad. What, what else can white play? What else can white play? Mm, so these are the three main moves. Bishop C2, what was played, of course, another main move. What else should white go for? I'm just trying to think if I can find another move. Knight A4, F4 maybe is actually a move. Oh no, it's not because then it's like this. I mean, white has a lot of moves and you have to calculate. You cannot calculate all of them, yes? You cannot. It's impossible. It's physically impossible, especially with 17 minutes on the clock. 17 minutes on the clock, on the clock, where you have to be practical, and that's why Magnus, I think, trusts his intuition here and played Bishop C2 because it looks very practical, right? Attacking the rook and the next move, then something will hang either on F7 or H7, which just looks very, very practical. But sadly. His instinct, maybe, or kill calculation connected with instinct was wrong because Queen F2 on the board right now and Magnus down to three minutes. Three minutes on the clock for Magnus. That means he's in big trouble. And why? Because they need 15 more moves. They need to make 15 more moves to get the additional time control. Otherwise, this will just be a time scramble. The problem is that now the rook, I mean, white of course can take it, but then black will always take the rook. So now this is not as clear anymore because then the rook is not here to attack anymore. So this now is dramatic. This is dramatic. No, I, I'm, I'm not saying I'm not a fangirl of Kramnik's Catalan. I'm a big fangirl of Kramnik's Catalan. I'm just not saying they're my heroes, you know? Magnus is not getting me. Yes, Be uh, Bojana Beatovic. Isn't she? Not Beatovic, Beatovic, no? Um, no, of course, Magnus has been practicing Bullock. That's not an issue. The issue is that... Um, 
I think that Magnus knows he didn't play the best move. That's why he spent so much time. And now he had to spend another five minutes or more just to calculate, oh no, then what do I do now? I blundered Queen F2. And I think that's what happened. I think he blundered Queen F2. Um, which, you know, it's totally possible. Basically, what we're gonna try to do, there's gonna be an interview. Um, okay. Um, okay. Okay. So hopefully we can get NVL for sure. Uh, but he's getting, NVL is getting tested for COVID, so that's why he's not here yet, guys. That's why NVL is not here yet. He has to get tested for COVID. But um, we will have um, an interview with Hedda Sale, so I will just turn the camera and I'm going to try to do it because Hedda Sale is true. I'm going to wait.
this is the airplane mic again.
Okay, Sipenko is also here, but I also think he will say no because he wants to speak Russian. Um, but I don't know. We'll see about it. I, w I will turn the camera around again. Um, it's so many people coming, but I don't think any of them will join us as they're all very tired. <laughs> so we'll show you a Sipenko as well. So many people to show it today. <laughs>
I think I really got lost. So my ex in Vietnam is five times world soul being champion and also a top grandmaster, the one has to have a few. We should get cookies, yes, so we convince him to stay here. Very good. So, my dream is five times So, yes, like nothing here to change, it's gonna be a draw. I'm gonna get cookies, you know, I'm gonna get cookies. And you stay here and watch with us. You stay here and watch. Okay? Big good chat, big good. Yeah, I was my 
was inside uh, 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 So that was a place of it. Uh, and not long for uh, 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 And I was also a little too light because the light uh, 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 I analyzed this about two months ago. So until uh, next month, I, I know what that is. So, we show the Yeah, that is always by far. Or, what you're with Ponga. Uh, the still playing the game, although that would be the first game. Any, any um, idea who you prefer? Or, do you prefer to go play the I'm hungry. Uh, but do you mind that? Film Casper on for an interview because he just beat Chinjaro. And that was some. It wasn't a, actually. It was a base stream. I went for free food. Oh, if food was only free, guys. You have no idea how much I spent for dinners. Is Lara over 160? Not sure. Might be. I'm not sure. So this is gonna be a draw. Shanklin, John Bio. Draw. Okay. So, Rabali, Abdus Saturo. Okay. So. <laughs> uh, we'll see what we can do here yeah, for sure. I'm sorry, I'm just very confused right now because I don't know who should we wait for, but I'm just going to pull up the game, uh, the previous game that Pyrrhon won, in case he would prefer to analyze. Oh, I will ask him if he could analyze that. Okay, but let's check um, what games are still going on. Bakro, 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 Bakro is not so lost anymore. Not so lost anymore. They just reached the time control. White, though, because he's an exchange up, he's doing better, but. I think it was already worse before. Um, Dubo drew, okay, Dubo drew, which means, ah, yes, Pinko Dubo was draw, yeah, 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 Pinko was here. Um, so that means that they're going to tie breaks, which is going to be very entertaining. Our team Yokoyakin will also be a draw, okay. Tabatabe, Hare Krishna, Tabatabe, only it's a draw, but Hare Krishna. I mean, Krishna is on the pawn up, you know, so pawn is a pawn, is how we say. Goryachkina has also finished her game as she won against Stefanova. Wow, so they will also be going to tie breaks. Um, and I will be turning the camera around again for her interview. Um, hopefully, that's fine. Oh. to the airplane one. Maybe you will hear better. She's very quiet. Thank you. 
interview. I don't think she's coming in. I think she only speaks Russian, so we cannot really have her. Or if she speaks English, I think it's not so good. I don't really know. Uh, but we are not having her. Oh. Oops, I clicked start recording by accident. Um, yeah, anyway. Um, anyway, we have all have to be tested, guys. Even though we are vaccinated, we are wearing masks, we have to be tested every three days. So we're pretty safe to be negative, so it's okay. Oh, sorry, the mic. Yes, thank you, thank you. I will change the mic. Okay, let's check the games now a bit. Um, Stefanova lost. So, so that's not good for her. Let's check pits. Looks drawish, even though black is pushing as their corner. But it's really good in a. Ooh, I like these horses. The horses. The horses. Yes, the horses are strong. So I think Gunina is the one in charge. Okay, we have the captain. The captain is saved. The captain is saved. The captain is here. The hero of the day has arrived. Uh, Vidit is winning. Okay, let's check Vidit. Let's check Vidit. Yeah, yeah, let's check Vidit. Um, but I just wanted to tell you that oh, Vidit has won. Vidit has already won. So many interviews that should happen. Um, so, yeah. Ooh. Wow, yeah, I mean, Jeffrey had to try and Vidic just threw smoothly. Let's quickly check Ivic. Ivic was winning as well, but what happened here? Whoa, what happened here? So, tuck, 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 tuck. We Arrange another. Okay. <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, I've seen you at, at the iPod. <laughs> yes, with the, yeah, I've seen each other. Yeah. 
so congratulations, you're true. I will just put it. Oh, he was put in the past. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we made this as a joke. I, I forget to remove it every time. <laughs> oh, that's suspicious. I mean, I don't know why. No, you usually because I'm usually a streamer on Twitch with other channel, mm -hmm. so I'm just a commentator here on Leeches. But usually I stream for other channels, so we do that with our channel. Usually, it's it's a joke. Just. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, okay, so uh, congratulations first of all, yeah, um, for for the nice wins. And uh, can you just tell us like how do you feel about um, going to so far? Yes, I'm surprised to make it uh, so, uh, so far because uh, it is this is my third World Cup and during the last two uh, oh. tournaments I just didn't pass the first round, so it was like oh. really tough. And here somehow this third uh, appearance just compensates my previous uh, start. Wow, yeah, it's very very impressive. Yeah, and you're also beating very impressive players as well so I'm so glad that uh, you're doing a great in chat we have a chat as well and they're saying Polish power <laughs> Polish power because Wojtaszek is also drawing Magnus I think he was losing but he's managing uh, with a draw yeah they've told me that, uh, mm -hmm. that, ah. that uh, yeah, he was lost I, I was sure he, he will lose after GC but Somehow he yeah. made a draw, which is, I mean, impressive. I mean, don't draw against the world champion. Yeah, 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 really impressive. So, would you mind actually talking about maybe uh, the first win you had against um, Sinjaro yesterday? Yes, I mean, it was more important than today because today it was yeah. like I just found we... default and it was, yes. Yeah, today the game was very smooth for you because from I mean, the open, I didn't yeah. show it, but yeah, now, I mean, obviously, this is uh, yeah. most more important. So, here, first uh, moment was when I played uh, Rotate T8 because yeah it looks like uh, here like White Hat is uh, in uh, I mean in good uh, situation because yeah. he has open open F file and he wants to play knight A5. So mm -hmm. I spent some time calculating to play T8 mm -hmm. and obviously T8 is after I look at Siege. Uh, yeah, you can then. show, yeah, show, show yes? of course. Yeah, I would love if you showed your variations and your thoughts. Yes, uh, so <laughs> yeah. T8 is after I look at Siege to play Knight D4 mm -hmm. and now I have to, I win either pawn or look. So that was one idea, but the other idea was to play Knight D5, Knight D4, which, is, which I wasn't sure if it was, but, worked, but uh, mm -hmm. I just saw I have a version like this, knight b7, bishop d6. Ah, okay. uh, yeah, so I want to take this try, and if the okay, race you then I wanted to play f5. Oh. And uh, I mean, if yeah, it takes f5, then I think after rt2, I should have this compensation. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't sure about bishop b4. Um. Because bishop b4, the point is that uh, you cannot take uh, twice because of this <laughs> nice uh, chip okay. and f8. Which obviously has uh, was some in champion saw, wow. uh, but yes. uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Here, here I think I would have to maybe just take and play with f7, and still I mean I can win this guy, uh, this guy or this guy, so I can win this guy or this guy. Yeah. And I think probably you might slightly better, but I think I should have some good chances. Mm -hmm. nice. uh, yeah, but yeah, he played 21 like. Um, uh -huh. Really fast, which I was we're surprised. surprised yeah. Yes, I expected him to calculate this, but not to <laughs> this instantly. I mean, of course, he, he is really talented, so he, uh -huh. I think he ta calculated this. And yeah, I think mm -hmm. he it was like more or less okay. I think I thought it, my position is fine. And he, yeah, at some point I thought I was slightly better, but mm -hmm. then I played some stupid move. Oh. Yeah, I wasn't so sure. I mean, uh huh. Yeah, you were just not so sure, but you know, you have already had yeah like five minutes, so you had to more play yeah, by feeling both, the calculation. Yeah. yeah, we both were in time to travel, mm -hmm. so it's. I wasn't so sure. I mean, I knew that this is gonna gonna be hard because he's young and uh, yeah, he plays faster. Yeah. And yeah, so yeah, here <laughs> well, I think I missed to play one completely, and I wasn't ah. sure because he, I think he could play uh, night shift three. Like uh -huh. here, I mean, it was like. I wasn't sure because I can play rook 5 rook 7 rook 5 and mm -hmm. play something like this, but I wasn't mm -hmm. sure. But the problem is if I play knight f6, then you just take on this try. Yeah, uh, it's seven. I'm just, seven, yeah. I just have to hold this end game after knight e4. Yeah, yeah. This, uh, Six, yeah. Maybe I can play rook 4 actually. Yeah, 
Yeah, I missed your before. Mm -hmm. Because I thought I have to play with the queen, but I can mm -hmm. maybe play this. Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe it's a job, but it's really hard to say. Yeah, I mean, you're pawn down, so you're not sure, you're never sure. It's just, but yeah, you're attacking g2, and after queen f3, you just take b2, I guess. Right? Yeah, so but it's, 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 it's pawn, I need some. Okay, not it's so not clear, sure. yeah, it's yes. not, not at all. Especially uh, when you calculate, yeah. Yeah, but he played this, which is also a really, really, mm -hmm. uh, decent choice, because he, I think I have to be careful mm -hmm. not to lose. Yeah, so I was, yeah, actually we were analyzing this position and we were looking at this very nice knight on f5 and queen looking to g7, so your queen is also just kind of stuck, especially when the rook comes to c7. Mm -hmm. uh, like g7's pawn is a bit uh, suspicious, no? Or were you not worried about that? I was worried, of course. <laughs> okay. No, but I was lucky to find rook 5 Okay. And I was lucky to find this. And okay. here, when ah. time to the uh, trouble passed, I thought, I mean, was this scenario why can they play queen g7, right? Yeah, and win yeah. the pawn. And this yeah. is what I expected him to play. Yeah. And we have this end game. And this end game is probably, probably true-ish. And mm -hmm. the, uh, my plan to defend this is if white crows rook d2, mm -hmm. then I crow uh, rook b5, mm -hmm. king g3, and rook b3. And I want to mm -hmm. keep an eye on this guy. Exactly. And I'm not afraid to uh, like if he plays this because I can always try uh, I think C5, I want ah. to play C5, but maybe I can play even King G5. Yeah. Maybe not C5, King G4, it's it's B2 and yeah, just uh, position. So it should be a choice position. Yeah, should be. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I mean, obviously, I expected him to play something. Uh, I wasn't sure what exactly because uh, my main concern, I think, was this, this, and Queen B1, which was like I wasn't sure what what mm -hmm. this is because if I play. Some random move like c5, then I just lost after c6. Oof, yeah. I mean, I'm not losing because I have this move, but. Oh, so you have some Yeah, tricks, maybe, yeah? I, maybe I'm not some losing, some but. Tricks. Yeah, I, was, I wasn't sure, sure about this. Okay. But after 24, I think it's just people. Like this, this. Mm. Yeah, I think if he missed knight c5. Yeah. Uh, so and yeah, and I, I still expected him to make a troll like uh, 27. Mm -hmm. uh, this, this, and Queen G3, and ah. yeah, and it's a job because on this I just can give some checks. Yeah. And, and it looks like the thing is escaping here because I have, don't have this check, but yeah. I just check here and. And it's so gross. And it's a job because Queen G2, Queen G3, and ah. after King of 294. So nice. yeah, this I calculated and I saw okay, show is fine. I play with blood, it's yeah. okay. Okay, uh, that's very nice. Yeah, but then he just planted. I mean. Yeah. But already here, I thought after 97, it's with his time chapel because he spent like so so much time, which I which shot me. Yeah. I mean, I guess he was trying to win basically because I mean, obviously yeah. he just you know if you beat Vilosia uh, uh, and probably you, you yeah, want to win everyone. Go for the yeah all all time crush. Yeah. But do you think with his queen four was maybe asking for a draw as? He no, I think he just missed Ukraine. He just missed it. But you know, I mean, then again, I mean, if you try to force win, then you can plant something and it happened. I mean, obviously, you could have to take on G6 and mm -hmm. Queen G5, and I think mm -hmm. like this G2, Queen mm -hmm. and 4 and I thought it's a draw. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have some pressure, but I think it should be about choice. Maybe not. Yeah, but. I mean, his thing is still open in time of trouble, you never know what can happen, but yeah, I mean, then. Like he, before, his rook was on c7, queen on c3, and everything was looking toward g7, and now you're actually the one that's pushing in a way, even like, yeah? Yes, yes, like, I mean, I have some activity, of course, I'm from town, and there yes, are not so many points left, but uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I thought it should be a choice. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think he planned just uh, look h4, which yes, if you point. don't see it, then you, obviously you don't play it. And there was, yeah. and there was point for, for, yeah. for, from his, his perspective was that king g3 doesn't work because knight f6. Yeah. And this is so dirty, I mean, because yeah. Uchi 7, Queen 7, yeah. and, I, and, and just, uh, and Wait. I win endgame. The endgame, yeah. End game, yeah. So, so how fast did you see Rook H4? I think I saw H4, I think I saw this here. here. You already saw it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. like so I, you were kind of hoping. A bit no, because <laughs> the point is when uh, PD4 works, you don't want to play 97, but then what ah. else to play? Uh -huh. Yeah, so. Yeah, here I just saw Queen E4, that Queen E4 losses because of this. That's nice. Yeah, and then, yeah, I think it's just came over. And yeah, then here nice. just also allowed this nice tactic with G4, Queen E3, and Queen C6. Yeah, that was very beautiful to see for sure. And just resignation from him. Yeah, but yeah very, very 
good game and like everybody in the chat is calling you the puzzle master so <laughs> i mean i am the uh, five time world solving champion so i have to see this shit so obviously so it's not that why i asked you how fast did you see it? like yeah that's that's for sure you already saw it much yeah, and yet. we didn't attend show to time to time because but i think oh this uh, one the first one Yes. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, today you can, now you can check. Yeah, what so today. I was lucky because oh, okay. uh, <laughs> I prepared this line three months ago. Wow. <laughs> yeah, because wow. we played another tournament also held in not out uh, format. Wow. It was Polish Championship, and I prepared this for uh, one of the Polish Grand Masters. Mm. Uh, yeah, and I just remember that Bishop D7 is just. I mean, in general, this position is just bad for black because. Uh, Mm. Because normally you want to play at this point, you want to play night before and then uh, bishop g5, and it's mm -hmm. just a uh, line I remember. It's just, mm -hmm. it just ritual, but I didn't need to win. Yeah. <laughs> but I think it just didn't. Yeah. It must have been super for me to play this line. I mean, here, I mean, uh -huh. after 91, it's just too long. Yeah. And yeah. I just don't have to worry about anything. It's just end yeah. game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was and almost over here already, yeah? Yeah, I mean. I just thought I play at the end, but I wasn't sure what to do after Bishop B8, but then, yeah, I think I should play at this position, I mean, but then I saw this repetition, so I just decided to go for it, because... Yeah, of course, I mean... <laughs> I mean... Why, why bother when you can just go through, yeah? Yes, I mean, this was my minimalistic approach, which I use in people's games, so, I mean, if it works, it works, and just period. Looks so smooth. Yeah, so basically, we're kind of lucky because of the preparation. That, that's, like, me, I never, like, I wish... I was preparing for my opponent like that, that they played exactly into my preparation. So I know how good it feels when like, you know the line so much. Yes, I mean, I was really to. lucky. I mean, I have to say this. I mean, still, I mean, his performance is quite amazing. I mean, the fact that he put Philosia so and amazing. not, uh, I mean, he put him in Blitz control, uh, in, yeah. in which he <laughs> feels is one of the best. best. Yeah. And then he beat point as, I mean, crazy time, like uh, with, I mean, so, in the start yeah. round, it was it's insane, and I think he will be in the top top eight, eight just play soon. I think so too. I think so too. So yes, definitely big win for you as well. Yeah, especially like you said, you didn't expect it, and yeah, you're just yeah, but you're playing very well. I think as well, <laughs> very solidly, very very in finding these tactics so fast, and then of course that <laughs> getting you all through this. So I mean, yeah, just very nice games. And how old is your opponent? Do you do you know he's very young? Yeah. I think he's fifteen. Fifteen, yeah. And yeah, the pain for him was tough because obviously there was not so many uh, yeah. his games. Yeah. But I mean, my plan was just to play solid, and mm -hmm. just yeah. because I saw his game, he was like pure tactic. And so yeah. I hope just I will yeah. play something solid and then try to hope and then wait. Yeah. That's very smart strategy, yeah, because you know he's a dynamic, aggressive player, so of course you want to calm him down in, with your with your style. But yeah, wow, very, very, very nice games. Do you know who you play in the next bracket? Or have you not thought about it yet? I think it's Pontrato for Patro. Uh -huh, okay. I don't know what's the position because they've told me the Pontrato of my win. So. Oh, you want to check? Yeah, uh, that's true. Yeah, Why because not? okay, Bakro won yesterday. Of course, you know that, and oh, actually, he's, he's, he's losing. Yeah, Bakro is losing, so oh, he just resigned. Oh yeah. Uh, so yeah, it was really surprising, but he really chose uh, that was a variation. I mean, I expected yeah. him to play uh, so, solid playing, yeah. and exactly. So it was weird, yeah. Yeah, after Pontrato of two on the A6, I thought it's it he may win because uh, uh, on A6. Yeah, oh, I think the moment he put on. Was before it was far, far away. Ah, oh, here, Bishop A6, yeah. Yeah, That's I mean, so because this is just the best, perfect position to play for the win, because yeah, yeah. it's so in balance. Yeah, it's very imbalanced. Yeah, This is not something you don't go for when you need a draw. Um, I mean, this is something you go for when you need a win. Yeah, with black as well, yeah. <laughs> so that uh, was very surprising, for sure. And yeah, so they go to the tie breaks, uh, they will be tired, so better time for you, <laughs> I guess. You will have a one rest day, relax, um, well, they will have to <laughs> fill it out. So that's a good point, yeah? I mean, actually, <laughs> it's my, I don't know which fit day is it, because I, di I didn't have any type oh, here. Wow. So you're really enjoying it here. Uh, that, that's very nice. Did you go to the mountains? Did you yes, I did go to the mountain. Uh, this, uh, the, um, it's not, I think, Los I think. Yeah, they want to... Uh, yeah, it was really nice experience. Mm -hmm. I mean, to just get some fresh air and enjoy the nice views. 
It's a fantastic place. It's very nice. I, yeah, I wish we played here more often. <laughs> yeah, I like Sochi. I mean, uh, that's it's, why it's, you're winning. <laughs> yeah, because I don't know this, <laughs> don't this place. <laughs> yeah, absolutely the same thing. That's why I'm commenting. <laughs> I just don't want to go. <laughs> but no, thank you so much for joining us and showing your game. Yeah, and good luck for the next games. So yeah, you're playing very well, solidly, and at the same time when you need aggressively. So very nice balance. I think that's what you need to go as far as you can. So yeah, good luck and um, thank you again for coming here. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, okay, I will go to break a bit. Okay, so thank you. So we've decided to stay here. Lee Chess. Lee Chess. Yes. Yeah. 
Hello, hello, we are back with the captain and he won his beautiful game against Pregnananda. Uh, how do you feel actually like after this win and besides this win you said you have something you had why were you missing? Everybody was after you finished, everybody's calling you where is MVL? Why is he not coming? I had uh, further obligations with doping tests. I didn't know they actually make doping tests uh, in Yeah, in and World I was not the only one waiting. So I was waiting in line and oh. so it took like 40 minutes. So does this every player need to make doping tests? Or just no, certain? it's uh, randomly uh, chosen. But you did manage to win, so that's the important part. So you can have free day tomorrow, which is amazing. So uh, if you would love, like, I would love if you commentated your game a bit to see your thoughts during the game. Yeah, so this was a line that, you know, I thought someone would play against me in this World Cup, so I, mm -hmm. it, basically for every opponent, I, I checked this line. Oh, really? Yes. So... Okay, that's interesting. So, yeah, we saw, well, you knew your opening very well here. Yeah, so, okay, so anyway, like, that's not... Yeah, that's all theory? Yes. 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 Five, bishop four. Yes, yeah, I just knew that, you know, in some lines you go rook c1 and rook c3. Mm, okay. Ah, and then king c1 or something. Yes. Mm -hmm. And in some lines you go king c1 immediately. Mm -hmm. But after, here after rook c1, there's queen a5. Mm -hmm. Yes, a3, e5. Mm -hmm. And this can get yeah, real messy because the king is not safe simply. Yeah, makes sense. So, King C1 was a move, and yeah, I expected A5. Yeah, A5 looks like A5 cool. is good because um, after, after B3, you want some A4. Yeah. Yeah. And this uh, I was not completely sure about. Um, I think I was even considering some A4 right mm. away. And then go to mm. A3. I was not sure, but um, let's say it's an interesting option. I mean, uh, I spent lots of time, but. Of course, you know, not every detail is uh, familiar, but mm -hmm. uh, Queen 7 felt like, yeah, B3, E5, take, take, Queen 5 Here I thought his best chance, but maybe it's wrong, it was Bishop C6. Mm -hmm. Bishop C6, okay. To go 94. Yeah. But, ah, yeah, this is actually maybe a, a good move for F1, because after 94 yeah. I can take, and you now I have for Queen A7, and this oh. would work. Just simply, okay. Yeah. I was considering actually uh, mostly bishop f3, mm -hmm. e4, mm -hmm. first e4, but then um, after bishop e2, knight d7 and knight e5, this doesn't look so clear as well. Yeah, the king is a bit uh, open. But queen b7 was, you know, very big relief, let's say. <laughs> okay. So here king b2, knight g5. Oh yeah, that yeah, was... Yeah, here actually... Bishop G4 looks like a good move, but uh, oh, I didn't like even I didn't even consider it mm -hmm. because um, you know I was so focused on you know taking this uh, this knight and doing the queen sacrifice. I thought maybe okay C8 was best. Mm -hmm. So here I was going a losing option. Actually. <laughs> yes. Okay. So first that's what I wanted to do, and after rook e2, I wanted rook hf1, but okay. it's actually not good because of rook b8 and rook a2 is red. Oh, you saw that? You were great. Yeah, that's very nice threat, rook a2. No, okay. I was just... Uh, ah. I just saw it. <laughs> so you were lucky in a way. Yeah. Well, not really, because this was my primary I, option of choice, yeah. and now because the rook is not on a8, I can take this mm. guy on a7 and I should be much better even though it's not over at all. But I thought, yeah, okay, c8 was better because 
Um, uh, I mean, doing this is still playable, but I felt like with the work on F8, it has some sort of fighting chances mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. instead of A8. Yeah, I thought it was probably over simply. Okay, there maybe you can go rook C8, but here, so I was not sure. I think I wanted rook HC1. Yeah. Uh, there's not such a big difference, but I felt in some cases uh -huh. uh, you win a tempo with black. Okay. Like, uh, like in the game. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Here I was considering something like this. I don't know. Bishop C4, King H7. Here. Okay, so Rook E5 apparently is not that great, but. Oh, also, okay. it looks. Yeah. Looks very close to a win. Maybe yeah. it's not, but. It looks pretty nice. I mean, okay. You yeah. should not regard the computer. It's just. Yeah. So, anyway. Um, but here after D6, yeah. Okay, again, Rook C8. I felt this was forced, but. At the same time, it's quite sad, yeah. And but after Bishop yeah. G2, Rook D1. So okay, I thought Bishop F3 was the best practical chance, but uh, I wanted this. Mm -hmm. So D7, maybe it's good. okay. This is what oh, I wanted. Good. And after this, I just directly D7, okay. So here, um, I think Bishop D1. Yeah. yeah. Rook C8, yeah. Okay, this actually I didn't see, but queen d6 check, and then you take the bishop with check would win. Mm -hmm. uh, but I saw another win. So here I wanted this, mm -hmm. rook c8. Mm -hmm. Now I take mm -hmm. queen e3, mm -hmm. queen f5 check, queen f8, mm -hmm. and here bishop g8. I mm -hmm. want it, king mm -hmm. g6, bishop f7, and after. So yeah, I felt like in g5, queen g8 is over. Yeah. And this, I thought was also over. Because queen d4, mm -hmm. I go king c2. Queen e4, king c1. Mm -hmm. And yeah, queen e3, king b1. Oh, it's nice maneuvering. Yeah. With a king. That's pretty nice. And then you're just winning, yeah. But yeah, I didn't so doubt that I would have a win. No. Yeah, I just wanted to play it safe, yeah, too. Yeah, that's to know to know what I was doing. Of course, if it goes bishop c6, I just take only five. That's yeah. Point. I mean, okay, apparently it's a bad move, but uh, who cares? Yeah. You all. <laughs> I know, actually, I wanted rook c1, yeah, rook c1, uh, to play rook c7. So, uh, yeah, okay. So, oh, both is good. And here, yeah, just over. Yeah, this is just over, crushing. Also, the chat is saying they also saw this exact line. They calculated it as well. So everything. Yeah. Uh, no, but yes, that was pretty, pretty nice win. And now you're through to play the Kriakin or Artemio. Do you know what happened in their game? They made a draw. They draw, so they're going to tie breaks. Yeah. So they're going to tie like Artemio each other was out. pressing for. Yeah. Uh, but uh, uh, yeah, he was really pressing. Yeah. <laughs> I felt like knight b5. Yeah. Yeah, knight b5 felt very, very dangerous. Yeah, it's pressing, but yeah. Because knight e4, I guess you go knight e7, you don't care. Oh. You take on a8. Okay. Or take on e7. And then. Yeah. Oh, well, that's pretty nice. So yeah, but he didn't yet, and yeah, he took. Yeah, and then it was better, but you know, kayaking has defended <laughs> worse positions in yes. his life. Yes, exactly. That's what I was thinking too. So yeah, they're, they're going to tie breaks, and I feel like they're gonna have a tiring match anyway, just because they're pretty equal cool players by strength, I would say. Yeah, yeah. No, it's gonna be a tough match for the qualifiers. So. Yeah. So now, congratulations for beating Pregnananda. How do you feel? We were asking ourselves, like, how do you feel about uh, Pregnananda's experience here? Do you think like he's still too young to reach a bit higher like result here, or did he play very well for? Well, I mean, of course, you know, all these kids are very dangerous, but... Uh, <laughs> oh, the kids. <laughs> yeah, uh, but at the end of the day, of course, I mean, I still think we're, we're still better players, uh, but of course that might change at some point. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, I think he gained valuable experience. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's, you know, a lot of things he can still improve in his play, and mm -hmm. he has the potential to to improve it and go, mm -hmm. go quite far, so, you know. I mean, 
that's uh, all I can uh, wish for him. But yeah, uh, yeah for <laughs> now, I mean, you're very happy. I mean, I, mean, I know some uh, some of the youngsters they eliminated some vegans, but yeah. uh, you know, I kind of help restoring some sort of order. <laughs> you're still staying here. You're not giving up. No, but that's congratulations. Yeah, correct the way to play. Uh, yeah, Fernando, of course, a strong player in the future, but he still needs some experience. And maybe also, like, he played such strong games, aggressive games against Krasenko before. Maybe it's also tiring him out. Oh, I don't know. We'll see. But for sure, he's going to come back strong as well. But so far, yes, you stay on top. And thank you so much for uh, for being here. You still need to make your PCR test and everything. So thank you for stopping by just yeah. to show your game. And good luck. And Thank you. And, uh, yeah, see you. Have a nice free day. <laughs> okay, the captain. Teach the youngs a lesson. Okay, very, very nice. Um, games, uh, it's already seven o'clock. It's already very, yeah, Andy looks hungry. He probably is. He had to go to doping test. He had to be uh, anti-cheating detected. He had to um, wait in line for it, and now he has to wait in line for the PCR test as well. So it was just very annoying. Um, it's going to be 31 October, older generation. Yeah. No, but uh, very, very nice. Um, <laughs> and yeah, today, who's next? I don't know who else um, is actually... Um, so who else is still playing? So we have Carlos and Wojtaszek. Was it Drushankar and Juma Bio? Uh, Juma Bio is trying to play this for a win, but this is just a draw. And of course, um, Shankar knows it as well. Kovalo lost to Fedoseo, so Fedoseo is true. Durabaili, Abdusatoro still going on because Abdusatoro does need to win with black pieces to, pieces to get to the tie breaks. And so far, it looks like he's managing. Gishuk Robo was a draw, so they're going to tie breaks. Burkic Martirosian was a draw. That means that Burkic is eliminated from the tournament. And Martirosian hike from Armenia, young talent as well, is just going um, to the next round immediately. Um, MVL beat Fernanda, which means that MVL is true to the next round. Pirun Kals produced in Jara, which means that Pirun, we had him here before MDL. He's also going through the next round without tie breaks. Um, Pankrato beat Bakro, which means Bakro and Pankrato are going to tie breaks. I think this is going to be Bakro's third tie break from, um, since he came to the tournament. So basically, he played all, all matches 1 1. So he is just um, <laughs> a tie break expert at this point. Um, I think Vidit is not coming here, I just have a feeling I, he also has to make PCR, so I don't know if he's coming here. Artemio Kriakin is a draw, which means they're going to tie breaks. Hare Krishna Tabatabe, though. Tabatabe only needs a draw, and so far he's managing. Yes, he's a pawn down, but has very active pieces. So this might actually end in a draw. Do that bit, yeah, Idani, yeah, you guys were saying that um, Idani... It, uh, sorry, the Duda, the Polish power. So Pirun, uh, Kasper goes through, Duda goes through, Wojtaszek draws Magnus. So Magnus is actually going to tie break with Wojtaszek, which also is going to be very fun to watch. Um, Vidit winning against Jeffrey Dion. So Jeffrey, yeah, sorry, and so Jeffrey is eliminated from the tournament while Vidit goes through. Would love to have Vidit here, but I think Vidit already had enough interviews so far with us. Ivic still playing. Yes, we have to check this game. Um, but I don't think this is winning for White. But of course, this is still playable. Um, if Ivic wins, he wins the match. If it's a draw, they, they go to tiebreaks as well. The Hugo Swidler was a draw, which means that um, they go to tiebreaks as well as there was a draw yesterday. Hope I'm correct with that. Uh, Dubo Esipenko was a draw, which means, which means they're also going to tiebreaks. Uh, if we check the women's section, um, 
what do we see in the women's section? Goryachka beats Stefanova, what, which means that uh, they're going to tie breaks as well. Stefanova Goryachka are going to be very fun to watch. Lachno Subhav was a draw. Um, what what um, was maybe not so expected because it was very very balanced day day and game for them. Um, but they're going to tie breaks as well. Kostinyuk um, beating Mujic Maria. No tie breaks needed for her. So Maria is knocked out for, of the tournament. Maria was World Cup World Champion winner a um, few years ago, but now Kostinyuk kicking her out in the round four. Um, Muzichuk, Anna and Pitt still going strong over the board. The game is still going and I think Anna is gonna try to win this, but is this winning? We'll come back to it for sure. Um, to me, this looks like it could be winning, but I don't know, I don't know King of Five, just we'll come back to it. But uh, Zagnitz and Anna beating Shuvalova, which also means they're going to tie breaks. So Shuvalova has beaten Anna yesterday, so it's 1 1 now and tie breaks tomorrow. Uh, but Sashvili against Gunina. Uh, still going on and like these two nights are still going so strong. Uh, I think Gudina managed to win some pawns, one pawn uh, in the meantime, so that's very nice. Tan Zhongwei going through without tie breaks against uh, Kaden Sara. What went wrong here? Like I said, Tan Zhongwei just in such great form, shape, I think. Um, She's just playing very accurately, um, giving her opponent no chances. And huh, very nice, like because he just, she just gave a queen as well, but this would turn into a checkmate. So um, she's just playing very accurately, I would say. I don't feel like she had any troubles or problems winning this. And so I think she's going to be a very dangerous opponent for the next rounds. In Kashinska, Sedokasova finished in a draw, which means they're also going to tie breaks. Um, we cannot bring Vidit because Vidit is not here. I think Vidit is doing his PCR test and anti-doping -do cheating matters. Um, so I don't think Vidit will be coming here. If he does, we will have him. Otherwise, I don't think he's coming here. Um, we'll see about that. I have to check. Everybody wants Vidit, but I'm sorry. I didn't know Vidit was so popular with you, chat. Aren't you just happy with me? You know. Um, You're just not satisfied with me. Terrible. Okay. Um, so yeah. So we're just gonna check uh, these last few games. I think the one th that's the most interesting is this one, as um, this was supposed to be winning. King goes to b3, c4, and the only winning move for white here is king c3. <laughs> but that's a terrible move, and after this you have to take, and after rook c8 you go here. This is, yeah, <clears throat> a very unsure way <laughs> to play chess, I would say. Um, like, this is just, like, look, the king is on f4, but this is completely winning for white. But of course, um, in this position, Ivic had one minute on the clock and he couldn't calculate everything after King C3. Of course, he just takes this, it's safer, and after this, it's actually equal. So Andrei King actually saving himself. Uh, he managed to, managed to save, him, save himself in this trouble he had gotten himself into. Of course, uh, White will try to push, but Andrei King, just very experienced, knows that this is just a total draw. Um, of course, after Rook H2. He knows this is a draw, and I think this game will finish in a draw very soon. Oh, also this is a draw. <laughs> He just goes for the theoretical draw. I think this is um, theoretical draw because just rook stays here. It doesn't let um, 
king go through and they the game did finish in a draw they just agreed to a draw which is great result for Ivic but he was pushing today it was much better he's playing great games so they're going to tie breaks as well uh, no Magnus will not be interviewed I think Magnus is upset because he, I think he knows that he was winning yesterday and I, he knows he was winning today as well and um, he doesn't want to get interviews because when you're in a bad mood you should not give interviews, it's a fact. So today we're not, there's gonna be no Magnus. Um, yes, there's normal, dope, like in every um, sport there's doping here as well and I think yeah, this is the way they do it. He's always upset when, if he doesn't win. Yeah, but there's one way um, when you draw, where the, where the game was draw the whole time, but there's another way where you draw when you are winning the whole time. So, of course, um, it's very upsetting, but it's also very understandable. They have to go to tie breaks, which is not ideal for Magnus, but um, Vitash a great player. I said, I told you guys he's a great player and keep saying, Oh, but uh, world champion, yeah, but you know, if you're playing a great player who is also very aggressive and tricky, you never know what can happen, but, you know, it's just going to be very interesting to watch. You cannot really predict a result here. You can suspect what will happen, but you cannot predict a result 100% for sure. Um, Shankland drew Jumabaya, which means Shankland is true without tiebreak Jumabaya Rinat, who knocked out Karana. Um, few days ago is out of the tournament as well. Um, and Hare Krishna Tabata Bay. Hare Krishna Tabata Bay. Um, is equal, but of course Hare Krishna will push this till the end. He will push this till the end because if this is a draw, that means Hare Krishna is out of the tournament as well. <clears throat> Yes, Vatajik was in the candidates, he was, yeah, he was on top. He was top 10, I think, once, a few times, ah, uh, but he was. Nodirbek, I don't think Nodirbek even speaks English, but I cannot call people that already left. Um, oh, but Nodirbek just beat, oh, whoa, whoa, maybe Nodirbek is coming. Does Nodirbek even speak English, though? Because I cannot speak Russian. <laughs> um, I don't think we're gonna have him for an interview, but of course I will wait a few minutes, maybe, um, if she's gonna come around. Yeah, she does a little bit. A little bit is not enough, that's the problem. Um, okay. Maybe both speak German. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should try. Maybe we should try. That would be interesting interview. I can imagine I'm just trying to speak German. So, wie geht's? Was passiert in dein Partei? <laughs> that would be really funny though. We could try, uh, mix the languages up. Um, and yeah, in, in women's section, let me just check what the engine says. The engine says, yeah, black is winning, which to me seems kind of logical because just the king is very active, the rook is very active and so on and so forth. Yeah, Matil Shvili lost, yes, as well. Uh, well, yesterday she was lost too, but she saved herself. Yeah. Uh, the question is, do I finish the stream or not? That's the question. Can you interview Anna if she wins? I don't think I'm gonna stay so long. There are not so many games going on. And I don't know, Anna, by the way, guys, if you uh, were not here in the earlier streams, please do check out Leech's YouTube channel or Twitch because I already did interview Anna Muzichuk. Uh -huh. No, they're back east here. Um, I will turn around. Uh, so no, they're back east here, but um, we'll turn around to see. Yeah, it was really cool interview, so please do check out the interview. And um, 
so we already had her and once you already have someone you usually don't have them two times that's how it usually goes Wrapping it up in the Russian accent. Um, so yeah, there. Like I said, today there's. Oh, sorry. Let me change the mic. Sorry. Okay. So um, I will just wait for the interview to finish, and then I will um, talk a bit about today and the future. So just a second. We'll do. I cannot bring you Magnus. Magnus has been on this stream, so I don't think he will show up again. Um, 
I cannot bring any players. It's not my duty to bring anyone. I can try, but um, I think it's just wait a second. I will explain. <laughs> yes, El Grande here. Just a second. Uh, or maybe I can just talk. I'm just gonna. Yeah, okay. I will just talk. Okay, so um, the thing is that today there's the doping test. So whenever the player is finished, they have to go immediately to the doping testing hall. That's why they cannot come here to give interviews. And that's a problem. That's why we didn't have so many interviews today and I don't think we're gonna have a chance to have any interviews in the future today. So I think for that reason um, it's the best to, to wrap it up today. Um, today it's yeah, my last streaming, my last streaming day. Uh, no, I'm just gonna turn the camera. <laughs> yes, breaking news. Uh, so yes, today um, is my last um, day streaming here from Sochi as tomorrow morning I have a flight to Moscow and then forward to my next tournament. Um, so that's yeah, very unfortunate, but I was really enjoying my stay here. You know, I will just wait for them to finish so I can stop to start talking in a normal way. Um, yes, so I don't think there's gonna be any leeches turn the streams um, by other streamers. So I think, I don't know, we'll see about the Liches broadcast, I don't know anything about it. Uh, I just know that I'm not doing them anymore. Uh, I <laughs> Liches the nearest. Uh, uh, so yeah, this is my last day here. Um, and hopefully you will follow the World Cup now by yourself. Um, or maybe Liches finds you a new streamer to do it for instead of me. And maybe they will be better, you know, you never know. Yeah, traveling from Maxim to Maxim through, you're so, you're not crying. No, it was really pleasant having uh, Licha streams, especially the interviews are very nice. Um, and thank you yeah, for being here for sure, lovely. lovely. And yeah, what, what else can I say? I think hopefully for the finals I can commentate, but I will not be able to do it from Sochi which is um, not as good as, you know, here it's a beautiful playing hall. I can get all the players for interviews. Well, if I'm at home, I can really not do that, but we'll try to do my best. We'll try to do my best. Uh, I cannot really pick a best interview. They were all so great. So, um, and all, all days were so great for sure. And yeah, I think, <laughs> uh, yeah. My cat will not see my position, will not let me see. Uh, so yeah, I think we're raiding Irene because Irene was actually here, um, here, but had to forfeit her game because of her um, countryman was positive on COVID. So because just for any case that she was not, um, she had to forfeit her game. So she's back home now and we're gonna raid her. Uh, what's was the rate cancelled? What's going on? No, no, uh, no, no, please, please do make the rate, make the rate, please. No, thank yeah, thank you guys. Um, and let me, yeah, let me wait. Last time I will put the, the Liches song. Liches. Um, but yes, let's rate her. Uh, I will put the Liches song, and everybody's gonna be happy. Everything is awesome. Yeah, very, very nice uh, day. Um, I think I summed up most of it tomorrow, Leeches. guys. Tomorrow is going to be such a nice, uh, such a nice tie break day. So, guys, you should totally follow somewhere. 
uh, thank you, thank you for the good luck wishes, thank you for the compliments, uh, thank you for sticking with me, and hopefully if you guys want to commentate again, that would be really nice. <laughs> please, Twitch chat, please convince me just to invite me again, please. Uh, no, but it was really cool, and uh, chat. And yes, uh, yes. Lara who wrote the lyrics, it was me. I'm very crazy. That's how it goes. Uh, no, but actually, this is No Joke singing the Lichas uh, song. It's Mr. No Joke here in the chat. He was actually the voice for the for the Lichas remix. So, um, fun fact, to remember. Yes, now I am gonna create, create stress for my opponents. That's how I go. This DJ H. Yes, guys, thank you so much. Again, have a nice day, evening, morning, night, and see you.